I hope you guys don't mind, but I would like to slightly backdate an encounter. Uh, okay. Mostly because this is something that would have happened along the way to the center of the haunted forest, but I don't feel like building a separate haunted forest board for not quite the center. Alright. <laughs> I mean, couldn't you just take the haunted forest board, delete the center, and then, like, copy paste a chunk? Wow. You do realize that the board has actual topology? That's fair. Oh, okay, is it just me, or did, uh... Sean suddenly get a fair bit worse as soon as I hit recording. I don't know. Hey, it's uh, just your imagination. I, okay. Lamp. Right, so I imagine some uh, spooky shit's about to happen. Oh, so man. this is this is going to be a backdated encounter that just happens on the same board, but not at yeah. the center. I mean, I'm going to plop it right here, but... Theoretically, this is happening without a castle visible in the background. Makes hmm. sense. If, if you want to move it slightly further in so you have room to maneuver, that's fine. Yeah, our group tends to move forward, but whatever. Let's grid a line. <laughs> yeah, so, narratively, you arrive at the edge of the haunted forest, and... It's an oddly distinct edge, and oddly round, too. Like, this looks like it was enchanted to be here kind of mess. And it's, given it's got a smooth curve, naturally, you're going to head towards the middle, I assume? Yeah. I, yeah. As Hasish <clears throat> looks at it and goes, And yet more evidence for plinger bullshit. I mean, it's, it doesn't look like it was cut out or anything. It just looks like a proper terraforming enchantment. <clears throat> and uh, a ways in, you hear a ghostly voice. Turn away. No. Turn back. Or I'll fucking stab you. Uh. You had us for a well, you had me for a bit there, and then the uh, the final part happened. Are you going to come out? And the ghost floats through a tree in front of you. Oh no! You know, for a certain value of in front, it's a fair distance off. Uh, can I roll religion? <sighs> uh, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do identify. Uh... Yes, you are. I know. Well, okay, I remember having a huge... Yeah, I... one sec, I just realized I forgot to open my character sheet. Good job. Still though, I think I have a... it's at least a plus 12, it might actually be a plus 16. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, the only reason this takes a minute is because I have too many damn rule books loaded. Yeah, so anyway, when the ghost might actually have a problem with the thing in this area. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, when the ghost pops out of the tree, I'm casting Magic Vestment on myself. Okay. This doesn't even actually proc, um... Ah. In until you guys continue moving forward, turn-based mode isn't activating, so... So... Right now, the ghost is just standing intimidatingly at you. Does it have a knife? Well, not quite. Does it have a sword? It has a mace. But Okay, Hasis is going to call the ghost on that shit. Yeah, wait. You're going to stab us with a mace. 
with a blunt. Getting quibbled is how you get stabbed with a. Wait, shit. Quibbling <laughs> is how you get stabbed with a mace. <laughs> getting, <quibbled>. getting quibbled. <laughs> Incredible. You s you still don't stab with a mace. And if you do, Watch me. you are not scary. Now, I don't know. If you can successfully stab with a mace, that is kind of scary. Uh, uh, very well, but the chances of that are just too low. Okay, why do you not want us to come here? Do I have to have a reason? I... Yes. How large the area is? Yeah, probably. Oh, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> So, because you're a bitch. Yeah, we'll go with that, sure. Okay. Seriously, though, turn back. I, you know what? I, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not taking that. I'm casting divine ion cannon on him. <laughs> <laughs> he gets yeah, a reflex save. I think not. Uh, what spell is that? Sonic hmm. strike. I'm. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume he's So I'm he's gonna need you to uh, right? give me a caster level check on that one. Sure. That also, a... Todd, just as a final note, that uh, frickin' knowledge check I threw. Twenty-one. I, I forgot what my bonus was. It's frickin' okay. uh, I rolled a 39 on that knowledge check. That's a lot. But uh, this is uh, not a common type of undead. This oh. is actually properly the soul of an adventurer. Hmm. With all of its previous abilities intact. Hmm. I.e. prepare for class levels. Also, Gage, your spell doesn't appear to do anything. Hmm. Roll initiative. Wait, doesn't his flame strike change its height? <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> Watch on. I, it doesn't your flame strike have a different damage type than fire? And holy, yes. And holy. Well, it says technically divine, but it does have spell resistance applied. <laughs> oh, so, uh, can, can we get some initiative? Sorry, Sean. Matt? I rolled uh, uh, to apply it. Sorry, yeah, in battle chat because I have the memory of goldfish. Um, improved initiative. Where, where are you? And okay, yeah, we'll see. So improved initiative is plus four, I believe. Yes. The uh, yes. Uh, so initiative, um, so that's 17, okay. Oh. I must say, we have a real split here. Between high rollers and low roller. <laughs> <laughs> high lo roll lower. Seems legit. Uh, well, your spell just doesn't appear to do anything. Oh, that's what's spooky. Except sincerely startle the poor evil spirit over there. That's what he gets. I mean, do we know he's evil? Okay, he fine. Did, he had to come out and immediately uh, threaten to stab us with a mace, so... Uh, granted, he might just be stupid in that case. Anything's possible when you're an adventurer. Still, Wait. I don't think Gage has actually cast Detect Evil. I have not. It's a ghost, and I really don't care at the moment. So anyways, is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. As a swift action, I'm going to go ahead and use my sacred weapon to give my sword ghost touch. Alright, that's probably a good move. <laughs> really? Strictly speaking, yeah. I, I think it might be. Then I'm going to scoot up to here, and then I'm going to cast Divine Eye on Cannon again. Uh, okay. Two better than last time! Does a 23 have succeed? Um... 
It doesn't seem to, certainly. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Siege, uh, Anatoly is casting Divine Ion Cannon. What are you doing? stab at him. I see Hashish has uh, yet to learn from our previous encounters. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm I... starting to see floating trees and it's bothering me, but not quite enough to fix it. <laughs> That's just part of the haunted nature, where you look at some trees and they don't have a bottom. You go, fuck. <laughs> it's a ghost tree, come on. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, 21 to hit? <laughs> Is a magic weapon if that matters. Does for damage. <sighs> Twenty-one to hit. Yes. Oh boy. Your sword skitters off of armor. Because the ghost is actually flat footed this turn. <laughs> yeah. So that's what happened when he was startled. Well, actually it's it would be flat-footed until it took its turn anyway. Fair. Hmm. I don't know. Fun fact. Well, I don't know, he's kind of prepared for us to attack him. But... Although I don't think he expected us to take an initiative on it. Yeah. Well... He was startled, thus uh, causing the nat 1, clearly. Oh, yeah, sure, he got 1 on it. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we have a surprise round? It's just going last, that's all. Okay, yeah. So, Elrodith, what's your plan? I... on my screen it's not my turn, but... Oh, for fuck's sake, that's... Okay, Elrodith, it's your turn, what's your plan? Um... So which of these trees supposedly don't have bottoms? Uh, random ones off in the distance. Oh. There. Problems solved. I was just curious because, like, then I could pass under them, but... <laughs> well, you can't. Okay. Even if you had tried, you wouldn't have been able to. Uh... It's not that they well, don't have bottoms, it's that their bottoms are invisible. Like the dice that have landed in the fog. Yeah. Look at that shit. I don't seem to be having the same shader issues you guys are. Just move on. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I don't think I can move far enough, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... You know, one, two, three... Four, five, six, and cast shield on myself. Okay. Leo? Uh, the cyclonic. Uh, count as uh, enchanted enough to be able to do damage to incorporeal beings? I genuinely don't know. What even is that's iconic? A, that's, a, that's an attachment on the bow that you gave me. Oh, in other words, it does have a plus one. The problem is I'm not sure the arrows are considered enchanted. Uh, oh, I bet I know why Sean's microphone sounds like that. Do you have your webcam plugged in? I looked through my sound settings, and it doesn't seem to be the case. And if it is, then it's still not the device selected. Hmm. Right, so you're gonna try uh, yes. to uh, Anything you fire out of a magical bow counts as magical. Anything you fire out of Ghost Touch bow counts as Ghost Touch. Hmm. So 
Cyclonic is magic, which means I can deal damage to incorporeal beings. Cool. Um, I'm gonna take a uh, 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 camera. I need you to right here. A diagonally step. Actually, and uh, actually I'm gonna attempt to tickle him with four arrows. Alright. Uh, I wrote my plus the hits down last time. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Even if magical, unless you had ghost touch 50% damage reduction. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, yeah. Uh, plus 22 to hit. Oh, God, right. I do have this spell prepared. Do any of my shots hit? <laughs> Is the ghost name? There's new potentially evil spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a plus 22 to hit on all of those. Uh. Do any of them connect? I'm sorry, could you say that again? I have a plus 22 to hit, do any of them connect? Uh, let me double check your, uh, yes, all of them connect. Okay. Uh, rolling damage? <laughs> Potentially evil spirit. <laughs> it's just everyone notices that one by one. I think I was the first one, didn't you? Anyway. I was unlucky to be fair. Uh 64 damage. <laughs> uh, I think it is reduced by uh by half because it's incorporeal, but Yeah, is that just total? Yeah, that's total. Alright. Thanks for making it easy for me. So it's like 32 or something. Alright, so do we think this thing has a, a higher or lower level than us? Uh, you feel like it is higher level than you on an individual basis? Uh, th does it have any comments about what is going on right now? Or <laughs> Okay, so on its turn just like as it gets bombarded by this hail of shite, it goes, You, you dare! Yes. You dare! We dare! And it we casts dare. Divine you... Ion Cannon? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's a former. Hey, you're the one who threatened to stab us with a, mel uh, a mace, so, like, this is technically self defense. <laughs> so, anyway, who's a. Uh... And, uh. Okay, roll spell resistance. Yeah. Oof. Okay, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. What's my spell resist? I don't think <laughs> I updated it. And in my case, this roll reflex for half, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Matt and Sean, you get a reflex half. The guy who that was actually targeted at just ignores it. <laughs> ignores it right back, even. Okay, what's uh, the DC? 18. Oh. Uh, uh, um, what does the really? Amulet of Natural Armor do? It gives you plus whatever armor. Literally just okay, AC. Okay, just, just AC, no spell it's, resist. Okay. It's anyway. same as 19? Mm-hmm. Is that surprisingly high or surprisingly low? That's surprisingly low. low. Oh. Oh, well. That's what it Anyways, is. Anyways, regardless, guess what? Because that I... I perfectly matched the save DC for that. Nice. Uh, my ring of evasion does its thing. I take no damage. Um, out of curiosity, how do where does spell resistance come from? What stats? It, it doesn't. It's a uh, basically thing you have to get uh, from either yeah. a spell or an item. It's oh, a special. okay. So I failed the the DC then because I don't have any spell resist. <laughs> well, you yeah, can still but try did to you evade. fail or succeed the reflex check? I rolled a 10. Plus your reflex, which is... Plus reflex, which is a lot higher. Uh, 
reflexes, my... Yeah, plus 14, so 24. Yeah, so you take... You take half you take damage. only 22 damage. Uh, only 22 damage. That should have been a 90. <laughs> As one of the people just stands there, and both of the other, like, freaking dodge roll out of the way. It's like, whoop! 90 minus 22 is 68. Correct? I mean, if you're using the in thing stat tracker, you can actually just put things like minus. It's very inconvenient when I'm attempting to enter negative values. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Anatoly, you've just been Divine Ion cannoned right back. Oh yeah, well, I'm cast as a swift action. Uh, please help let me edit my fervor. I'm casting Effortless Armor on myself. But I'm gonna scoot up next to it and smack it a couple times. Or smack it once, actually. I can't smack it a couple times. Wait, why do I have four different... Red Laser! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Red Laser, Green Laser... Those are the new ones. <laughs> Does a 31 hit? Uh, yes. Wow. No, right? Phenomenal. It's taking a whopping 11 damage. Is that... You're right, you gave yourself Ghost Touch. I did. Haha, no damage reduction for you, scrub. Okay, shocking uh, grasp into my sword and swing. Oh boy. Well, I mean, you have to roll concentration, but I don't. At this point, you're you may also have to roll scholars. Holy oh, shit! That's okay. that's one way to roll concentration, I suppose. Okay. Ah, fuck, is that is that your spell resist or your to hit? I'm guessing it's to hit. That's my two hit. <clears throat> right. You wanna uh, confirm that? Bitch. I... What's what's the total on that? Plus sixteen, so twenty-one. That does not confirm. Yeah. No, all spell is... resistance. Yeah, I don't know what his spell resistance is, but it's probably not that high. No, it's above twenty-three. Okay, that probably makes it. <clears throat> it does. Guess what? Don't bother rolling your electricity damage. Oh. oh, is he just immune to elemental? Yeah. Okay, well, then... Can oh. he not take divine, or is he also immune to divine? Swing my well, second can take divine. two hit. Which is 24. Gage should have done damage to him before. Gage should not have done Gage damage failed because I failed resist. the spell resist. Oh, Does 24 hit. What's that... What's that for? My Why second attack. Rolling... Okay. I have two attacks no. in a round. 24 does not hit. Okay. <laughs> also, shouldn't he still technically do damage from his sword? Yeah. That's why I was wondering what the d20 was for, is because I was expecting some sword damage. Uh, 10 damage. Did you hit twice? No, I only hit once. Right, okay. Hey, yes? Uh, right. I'm guessing that's your turn, so I'll move it to Algorithith, so he, it actually moves. Okay, Algorithith, it's your turn to deal with this potentially evil spirit. Maybe if you didn't go AFK without telling anyone. Uh, Back, I'm sorry. There he is. Uh, I, with everyone else here, I'm not sure I can actually get. Uh. Huh. I mean, you probably can. I will say that you definitely noticed Hasish's shocking grasp. Yeah. Hit it, 
and it not even react to it. And so you are aware of that. Unfortunately, my other touch attack is a whole lot less uh, impressive. I mean, if this thing uh, takes damage from a vampire touch, it is a sad fucking ghost. Yeah, that would be kind of a bad day. Well. In that case, uh... Eh. This might be a good time to do this. I, uh... Well, I mean, I freaking I give myself, uh... I use my haste incarnation of my blade. Anyway. And, uh... I'm gonna cast bladed dash and... Up here, here. I really hope that doesn't hit me. No. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh... Two, three, four... Five. Five? No, four. Oh, I think that's a couple crits you're rolling to confirm. Yeah. Um, that's plus 26 on those. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, you, you would confirm with a three. Yeah. Hey, uh, by the way, funnily <laughs> enough, my bonus to hit on all those dice is plus 26, plus 26, plus 26, plus 21. Nice. <laughs> Does Squint have Ghost Touch? Uh, I don't think he technically does, but he is enchanted, so I should probably do half damage. Am I the only one here with Ghost Touch? Yeah, apparently. <clears throat> oh boy. And unfortunately, I don't think Ghost Touch is one of the things... Like, I probably would have put that on, but I'm not sure if I can actually... Actually, let me double-check that real quick. Yeah. Right, so that's gonna take a minute. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Okay. What are you checking, Sean? I'm just double checking that one of my spontaneous enchantments can't be ghost touch. Dancing, flaming, uh. Mm, flaming burst, frost, icy bird, yeah. I can't. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. And this is assuming it's properly incorporeal, so. Well, still, I roll damage and, uh, does, oh yeah, you said a three would confirm, so yeah, all of those hit, okay. Uh, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 83 damage across four hits, except that's not halved if it's properly incorporeal. Okay. Yep, gotcha. <laughs> that's probably the biggest flinch it's gotten yet. That's... With the potential exception of Leo's first attack. I don't quite remember how much that was. Oh. And Leo, it is once again your turn. Turn it into Feel a big <clears throat> Whack his pee pee. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus God. Christ! Ah, very spooky. Uh, that's two crits. <laughs> well, I mean, you're gonna have to confirm those. Uh huh. Also, two? <clears throat> it is yeah, my crit range is 18. Yeah. Ah. Um, one right, of them. Uh, I don't know. 
that's DM's call. Uh, what's your to hit? Uh, my it's plus twenty two to hit. Um, my crit range is eighteen to twenty. Well, holy shit! You actually don't confirm that second crit. Yeah. The rest of it's still pretty spicy, though. Uh, I think my crit modifier is times three. So that's one, two, one, two, three. Do all of them hit the our turn? Yeah, all of them hit. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna be honest, that six uh, is actually exactly one below confirming. Oof. Ugh. Um, that plus 66 damage? Wait, no. Uh... What? Yeah, that plus 66 damage. <laughs> uh, Google, I need your calculator skills. <laughs> Look at this guy. Uh, 36 plus 66 is, uh, is uh, one, uh, 112, I think. No, it's damn. 102. Yeah, uh, it's, it's okay, I got it. That was a lot of pain that the ghost just flinched in. I imagine. Uh, spooky. Zerp. <laughs> What's your move? Potentially evil spirit. Um... It gives a roar of general displeasure. I laugh. <laughs> and just slaps Elrodith in the face. Oh, with a mace. Is. So, uh... I scroll around. Why? <laughs> okay. So, Sean, does a 23 hit? No. Okay, so its first strike hits the root next to you rebounds, hits it in the wrist, and it proceeds to completely be useless. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, is this a mace or a morning star? It's a mace. It okay. still managed to hit itself in the wrist. Frankly, you're unsure whether or not the quietly seething ghost knows how to use a mace. Well, that's his problem. Anyways, a swift action. I'm casting divine power on myself. I... Are you? Am I? Facetious I... kind of addresses the uh, ghost. You want to just leave? You will be punished for your transgression. So. Okay. No, you want to fail even harder. Got it. Uh, does a 34 confirm? Yes. Ah, shit. That's some spicy ghost touch damage. Uh, yeah, that's 47 damage. Holy shit. Ghost touch is cool. No, sorry, it's just that it has exactly 47 health left. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Ghost Touch! Sweet. You get the slowest and most dramatic possible death. Oh. Please oh. tell me it just deflates like a balloon. I thought I had one left. No, no, sadly, from, from the path of your last strike, it just slowly dissolves away. Uh. While swearing at you the entire time. Yeah, oh well, that's his problem. Do you get the feeling that at least one thing in this forest doesn't want you to move further? Really? Well, the one thing that we've met thus far that doesn't want us to move, uh, kind of sucked. 
so. Yeah, yeah. The dice gods did not approve of its existence. Yeah, that's not to say there won't be slightly scarier things in the forest that don't want us here. Wait, are we still on initiative? Yep. Oh, sorry. Okay. And I'm guessing that... Further into the forest we go. Right, I probably should state, uh, as soon as the ghost dies, I've deactivated my sacred weapon. Okay. Because that does have a timer on it. Yeah, gotcha. And you can consider the rest of the map towards the castle to be compressed, but oddly, you don't get costed again. Wow. <laughs> oh, and Gage, when you named the particular spell that was your Divine Ion Cannon, it caught me off guard for a moment. I already had that page open <laughs> because the NPC was already going to cast it on you. Did you forget that I had that spell? Yes. <laughs> oh, I got a, I got another pretty entertaining one that I'm sure I'll be making plenty of use of in here. Well, shocking grass was out of my uh, repertoire. Uh, well, did we rest between uh, the last fight and this one? I don't remember. Probably not. I don't think we did. I, you're right. I don't think you did. <clears throat> and enough time passed for my previous shield spell to inspire some. Yeah. Which means I have two, at least two, uh, vampire touch spells in my uh, arsenal that are just not going to be useful at all. And oh, man. other missing spells. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, yeah, no, as soon as we rest again, I need to per, uh, prepare a number of these spells because uh, that's going to be so good here. Uh, if you want to call a rest, we can. It's like, we're, we're at the very edge of the forest. Should we back up and... Probably. Time for camping. It's like, thankfully we all have Ring of Sustenance, so... <laughs> it's Ring honestly probably safer to camp inside the forest than outside. Oh uh, yeah, because of dragon reasons. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's why I was wondering about the Ring of Sustenance. Because I don't know how much night is left. Um, I mean, the forest is deep enough that, for narrative reasons, ah, uh, fuck it. I don't want it to become daytime, so sure. If you sleep for narrative reasons, it'll be almost like night gets longer. Ah. All right. Okay, In which go. case, we probably are going to try and take a long rest just to <clears throat> get everything processed and reconfigure for undead things. Yep, a uh, lot more uh, magic missiles. Oh, that's a spell I should probably have prepared. What? Breath of Life. Yeah, that does sound useful. It, it does 5d8 plus 1 point per caster level healing damage, but can also bring back uh, recently slain creatures with no cost. That is pretty nice. If cast upon a creature that has died within one round, apply the healing from the spell to the creature. <laughs> Uh, if the oh, right. creature's hit point total is in a uh, negative amount of less than its constitution, it comes back to life and stabilizes. Mm. Huh. So it won't help if someone gets overkilled too hard. 
If I can't heal hard enough, then probably, yeah. Okay, I'm concerned because it says, uh, it heals one point of damage per cash level of a maximum of plus 25. Does that mean we can get to um, level 25? I would, there are probably rules for that. I think it might start with five. That mm -hmm. and, you know, there are things that allow your, uh, caster level to be effectively higher when casting spells for the purposes of variables like that. As I remove a bunch of uh, things and replace them with magic missile. So, uh, Matt, what does this yeah. rest mean for your character? <clears throat> um, literally nothing since I'm immune to tiredness. So I just, like, sit around and do nothing, I guess. Play target practice with the bats. Sure. <laughs> I got first watch. Uh, <clears throat> let me amend this, that, that statement. I have only watch. <laughs> We're taking watches in 30 minute increments. True, because we do have the spell prep period again. Yep. Pull a timepiece out of your pocket. I have the watch. <laughs> so, um. Hopefully, Dragon's Breath will be useful here. A part of the night passes. And I'm guessing you progress further into the. Extremely Ooh. spooky haunted forest. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. But before we do that, I gather everyone around and I cast a greater height from undead on everyone. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shit! Fuck! I'm gonna have to look that up now. <laughs> it's so bullshit. Jesus. Isn't it great? By the way, if my math is correct, this uh, one specific spell lasts for two hours and 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So, um... You're, you're pretty able to just carry on into the forest. Interestingly... If any of you take the time to check, all of the trees are actually undead. Didn't know you could have undead trees, but there they are. Oh. Evil tree ants. Yeah, evil tree ants. Uh, did the trees try to kill us? No. They can't see us. None of them are even animate. Alright then. They're just swirling with negative energy. And it always stops for a moment and goes, wait a minute, why the fuck are there trees in the desert? Planer bullshit. The answer to all things. Uh, so anyway, are we assumed to be in the actual forest map now? Yeah. Okay. It progresses fairly uneventfully. There's at least two roaming skeletons that uh, you see. I don't see you. Don, you coming? Right. Yes, yeah, sorry. Not the Stottle X. Uh, I cast Perception. What are you looking at? Like the obvious building ahead? Yeah. There is, uh, the sharp lines of a man-made structure ahead. I mean, more of I was looking for. Okay, where's the good places where we could be ambushed? I should probably point out my passive perception is 34. I mean, 
you're acutely w aware of all of the bats flying around that are probably more fucking vampire bats. Yeah. Spooky. Not like they were a threat before. Can't see anything from up here, boss. <laughs> Looking, you do notice that uh, part of the left side of the building seems to have been demolished. Hmm. No, not the architecture. <laughs> the architecture? Yep. Let's see if I can Ow. do that thing again. Uh -uh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you can do it. Okay, that's that's <laughs> neat. So in uh, the uh, measurement thing, we have a new option, and it lets us tell uh, know exactly how far we're moving at any moment. Huh. Uh, okay. Little character thing. <clears throat> Is it? You guys can see that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Bind it to a character. Yeah, it binds it to your Do you your see character. my fucking around inside of the room, or is that invisible because you can't see the character that's moving? Uh, I don't see shit, sir. Awesome. <clears throat> oh man, I see something spooky over there at the entrance. Yeah. Mm. We. Yeah, I'm trying to come up with a name for it. that matter, what is... Well, if you want a type of undead that is explicitly meant to protect places, it'd be a white. Which, speaking of which, I... Do you want me to roll perception first before I roll knowledge again? Oh, uh, Matt, as soon as you step onto the tiled floor, the uh -huh. armor? The armor. Shouts, halt! The lady is not seeing guests at this time. That sucks. Okay, <laughs> who's the lady? <laughs> Hold on. How long has it been since I cast Hide from Undead? <clears throat> That's, uh, that wasn't something that I, I say out of character. I just look at it and go, that sucks. <laughs> Still, yeah, how long has it been since Hide from Undead? That is also fully assuming this thing is undead, but moving on. It's been about 50 minutes. Okay. So that sounds like a, uh, a knowledge flavored check. Yeah, like I said, I... do you want me to? I know nothing. <laughs> it's armor. Uh -huh. Oh man, sure, we got two ones. Perhaps there's a way for us to uh, set up an appointment, please. Oh, more like, does it know we're there? That, that's a really good question. First, I, I mean, Hasisha stepping on the bricks now, so it, it doesn't actually matter whether or not this thing is undead because it may or may not be able to hear us. Yeah, no, I was just, uh, I was expecting one more knowledge check than I got. Okay, Sean, what's that total? Because I think yours is probably the highest. I don't know, I'll give it a go anyway. 34. 20, not bad. Okay. <clears throat> so, by your best estimates, this is another animated spirit. Mm. Just its armor is a lot more visible this time. Now that you're so looking can, for it, you can actually see a body-shaped disturbance in the fog. So, it, it can't hear us, then? Actually, it, it appears to be able to. Hmm. Not that it is responding to the question of, when can an appointment be set? Huh. Just, you know, when you speak, it turns to you, kind of thing. What the hell? The lady 
is not accepting visitors at this time. Who is the lady? A lady of this manor? Who did you think? I was more asking for a name or title, but... Her title is the lady. Yes. Lady of... Uh, what lands does she have? Oh. Officially, this is the manor's forest. Okay. Countess, Baroness, Duchess. She holds no title of that nature. She has no need for it. Never mind, my character has no knowledge of nobility, so he has no idea about those titles. Oh, oh, do I? I mean, anyone without knowledge can belt them out, just doesn't actually know their meaning. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Iron Skin and Magic Fest on myself. Are we um, barging in? Also, is, is it evil? Is there a possibility of gaining an audience? Of, uh... Of, uh, scheduling an appointment? The forum looks you up and down and says, Not for your like. I cast Detect Evil. How rude. It's evil. I cast Divine Eye on Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, okay. spell resistance roll. All Here right. we go again. <laughs> uh, should we oh, roll, roll again, or just... Uh, that's one... Is that initiative or spell resist, Gage? That was my initiative. Oh, okay. okay. You, you I, I you never got... Need to... Yeah, I never got the confirmation on the spell resist roll, so... I was checking... Actually, 25. you pass. Oh, cool. Time for initiative. Um, Are we not doing initiative again? This anyway, it's a reflex save. Yeah, I don't know why we're doing initiative again, but I guess we are. Well, because Gage hey. did it. <laughs> I got two. I got another nat twenty. Oh. So, uh, you, you do you. Um, about my, my initiative. My initiative is uh, uh, 33. <laughs> what, what's your bonus, Sean? Uh, plus 8. Yeah, uh, Sean goes before me. <clears throat> God damn it, guys. You're not supposed to be having Nat 20 fights over. <laughs> what the hell is that Nat initiative? <laughs> um, lots of reflex and <laughs> bonus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> right, so tall, dark, and spooky over there gets a reflex save. I uh, guess he does. Yeah, that follows. What's the okay. damage? 52. Spooky. <sighs> all, all or death, I guess it's your turn. Yep. By the power of Nat 20, even though Leo got higher than you without a Nat 20. <laughs> Yeah, I it's basically well, impossible it for me to have an initiative right. below fourteen. Sorry, right, say that again. It doesn't say it's my turn. Son of a. Oh, Sean is experiencing the. How about now, Sean? Yeah, I can. Uh... I can get there even if I'm going. Get there even if I'm going through Leo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, just from that previous knowledge roll, can we tell whether this guy's also going to be freaking immune to elemental or not? Uh. Mm, no, you cannot. <sighs> should, should I roll some hidden dice to make you nervous? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I sigh and uh Howard has also not learned from our previous encounters. Do 
boy. I'm fucking melee range. What do you want? Do you let the guy in the armor go first? Fine. <laughs> I delay my turn. This. You delay your turn to just after Anatoly. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> In a response to your uh, divine ion cannon, the armor echoes. So you have chosen. Well, I'd, I'd say death, but frankly, you look a little competent. So yeah, yeah you chosen to fight at just the very least. Leave. Uh, I, I generally would have responded. Uh, yeah, I would have responded. Better men have tried, and all have failed. I, I will do my duty. If he it's the end of me or not. I would have uh, said yours, particularly. But I just—I kind of actually like this guy. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, too bad none of us know mind control spells. He's immune to it. That wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, undead are yeah. typically immune to mind control. As a swift action, I'm casting effortless armor on myself. Uh, and I'm gonna smack him with my red laser. It's like a. Uh, <laughs> Phenomenal. So does a 24 hit. No. Cool. That's all she wrote. <sighs> okay. Now, I'll do exactly the same action I would have done anyway. Oh shit. Hold on. I forgot to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 It does change. I didn't have to cast effortless armor then. Shit. Can I change my turn? Sure. Okay, cool. So instead of casting Effortless Armor, I'm going to head and use my uh, Sacred Weapon to use Ghost Touch. Not that it would have done anything, because I've already swung, but that's a thing. Yeah, it, it doesn't change the result on the dice, so it's just a different spell. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Well, isn't this frickin' not incorporeal? You said its armor seems a bit more physical. I did say that. And even from your knowledge check, you'd be willing to bet that you don't need Ghost Touch on this one. It hurt though. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Well, anyways, in that case, doesn't it have reach and shouldn't it have been attack of opportunity gauge? Uh, potentially, but I brought, I'm currently five more feet forward than I honestly want it to be. So uh, take that as you will. I mean, I'm just gonna grid align you real quick. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> okay. I saw if I end up getting attack of opportunity. Regardless, <laughs> I'm gonna be annoyed. Anyway. Go up there. Fucking... Absolutely sure. Um, I'm using my Benthic spell version. What does this do? Uh, half of the damage becomes bludgeoning. Nice. How's your uh, the gaster is... level check doing? Oh, well, first I need a roll to confirm that first crit. Wait a minute, does that mean half of your shock and grass damage becomes bludgeoning? Yes. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's the to hit on that, anyway? Uh... My to hit on that is... And actually, wait, I'm using my keen version, so I should... No, I, I wouldn't use my shocking grass version. Anyway, my to hit is plus 26. Alright. You do hit on your first attack only. Oh, and I crit. Nice. Um... And since I crit, uh... Uh... Hergvergafa! Well said. Really? That's, that's spicy. Uh, how's the, uh, star resistance on no. that? Fuck, right. You tried. See, I knew it. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that passes, if I recall your level correctly. No, true. 14. Yeah, no, I passed with that two passes. higher, so... All right. This doesn't well, have as spicy of spell resistance as the last guy. Oh well, that's freaking. Do the damage types matter here, or no. do I just total what? You can just total it. You're good. Oh, okay. In that case, that's just uh, freaking plus twenty, and that's ninety six damage. <clears throat> that was kind of sad. Do you see the number of ones in those damage rolls? I did. Yeah, it's beautiful. I okay, Leo. Maximizing it, but I can't yeah. see that. You are presumably safely out of range of this guy with, uh... Looks around to figure out what the hell weapon is being held. <sighs> I can see the stats for it. Oh, he is up. Okay, the oh, he's also large, so I can safely shoot at him without uh quite easily. If you couldn't, I'd be concerned. Sorry, I need to uh scoot my camera so I can make my dice roll without the trees interrupting me. Uh N will cause a cutoff. A cutting box. Um well uh, I guess I, I need to roll to confirm crits. <laughs> yep. I guess you do. I see. Uh, so I didn't well, critically fail. <laughs> but you didn't crit either. Congratulations, you did not confirm either crit. <laughs> now, what's your plus to hit on that? 22. Okay, so only the nat oh. 20 hits. You are hitting with one arrow. The rest are bouncing ineffectually off armor. Except for the oh, nat okay. 1, which just thuds into the building. I did make one mistake, Todd. It should have taken two more damage. Oh, Ooh. well, it, it takes 19 damage. Oh, all right, that's something. Uh, At least my damage dice didn't let me down. So, uh, Gage. Yeah. Ooh, tasty. Isn't it? Uh, okay, alright. <laughs> dice? Oh boy. Does a 32 hit? No. How, how about a 44? No. What's your AC? 47. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it does hit once. Oh, no. But only once. As it hits you with what I'm just going to judge is a battle axe for 30 damage. Yeah. And as you barely, as you defend against all those attacks, you get a look of what you suspect is frank respect. <laughs> Siege? Okay. Uh, my foot step forward. Pretty sure I can hit him from here. Do you have reach? Uh, no. I mean, I have uh, spells, but you have successfully moved into the space where you can be slapped for casting spells. Yep. I mean, realistically, what he'd do is he'd, like, precast it or whatever. But honestly... <clears throat> I 
think he could technically attack of opportunity you, but at the same time, it's kind of an awkward angle. Right? Uh, he's tall. He has the ability. Cool. Uh, he rolls a 50% chance to just not hit me. I do believe that's a hit. Okay. So, uh... Oh, God. That's a 54 hit? Yes, it does. Oh, man. Hmm. Remind me what crits do? The crits just, uh, well, they do crit multiplier number of dice. And does it affect the plus? No. Yes. Yes. What? Okay. You just got dealt a very unfortunate amount of damage. Specifically, 60. Ouch. Um, the, like, for instance, if your blade is a 1d6 plus 11, like mine currently is, crits do double that plus 11, but my additional plus 1d6 electricity damage is not double. Gotcha. Yeah, it's 60 damage. I should have been doing more damage, then. Hmm. Well then. Which is slightly spicy, but I think you still have a standard action. Yeah, I'm proud. I, I guess I stab at the door guard. I. Not casting anything? Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. Okay, that's fourteen plus six. So twenty two. Twenty four. Total for a concentration. On what spell? Uh, shock and grasp. That should be enough. My favorite part about what you just did is he already attack of opportunity, do you? I mean, yes, but please consider the fact that there are a lot of entities out there, which multiple AOs. Yeah. It's a good habit. Anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Plus sixteen. So uh, thirty-two. Does thirty-two hit? No. Neat. Oh boy, it's my turn. Well, that means I have shocking grasp uh, dancing on my sword for a little bit longer. Oh, Until you get a nat now. twenty. Really? Yeah. That... Okay. Phenomenal. Well, it'll be funny if you get an at 20. Also, admittedly, you could just try to deliver it as a touch attack. I, I'm thinking that might be what I have to do. Okay, it does. Touch AC is admittedly a lot lower. Does a 28 hit? It does. Cool. How about no, 20? sorry. Never mind. Sorry, it doesn't. Cool. A mistake. How about a 27? Uh, that doesn't hit either. Awesome. A 32 did not hit. Alright. I probably should have cast that then. Um, with that nat 1 that you uh, confirmed? Yep. You dropped your weapon and you'll need to take a move action to pick it up. Alright. I have other options. Uh... Rolling concentration. That succeeds, okay. Rolling to attack. Fuck's sake. 
it's it's twenties and ones all around today. Could be another Parrot. one of those days. Got fucking I don't know what his AC is, but I have plus twenty seven. Uh, you said you had a plus 27? Yeah. You hit! Okay, well, more specifically, I don't fuck it. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. And then what about that 11? Uh, is Which it is at a plus 27? Yeah. You hit! Okay, cool. Uh... Uh, that looks like it might have been a little bit of shock and grasp. I missed the first hit, so it applies to the second. Mm-hmm. Uh... Forty-four damage. And you are doing work. Uh, can I ask for a spell resistance check? Not that no, it's very no. likely that you'll fail, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going to finish it off? I'm gonna tickle it in the gooch. Strictly speaking, I don't Does think I have it has one. one. Um, it's gonna have one real soon. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is on with these dice rolls? <laughs> the mid range dice are just not allowed today. I can't, I <laughs> mid ranged a few times, but. I'd say 13 and 12 are pretty mid range. <laughs> well, I didn't confirm the crit, but uh, that's plus 22 to hit on all of those, so which ones hit? Uh, the second God, and the I'll third. Be right back. Okay. Plus 22. Takes 33 damage. <laughs> Is that enough to, to tickle it? It seems not. Darn. Does it at least look offended? It looks scuffed, but it's quite focusing on gauge for some reason. Here we go, so with the watch. Uh... So... What was your AC again? 47. God damn it. Holy warriors are cool. Well, it hit twice this time, airily, as that 12 comes out to exactly 47. Excuse me? Oh, wait a minute. No, it hit three times. Did this thing just spontaneously gain plus hit to counter my AC? Because I remember it rolling higher before and missing. That was on a later dice. Its first hit is plus 35, and then it goes down from there. Uh. Where's the third hit? The third hit is actually on the fifth die, which is a secondary weapon. Specifically, not only did it slap you with its... Right? Sorry about that again. There we go. I want that shield. I am returned. Yeah. Nice. So, uh... Oh, it's my turn to uh, get up and walk around for a second. I'll be right back. That's... 60 damage plus... 22. So, 82 damage. Yeah. Across two hits, of course. 
it just right clicked on you to check your health again. I need to remember <laughs> that that doesn't work. <laughs> well, I, uh, I cast Oak. How much, how much damaged are you, Gage? On a scale from no to yes. I'd say an eight. I fucking see. That I wow, that's quite intensely damaged. I was well, breaking that here soon enough. Times, Andrew. What? You can roll a second time. I mean, does 13 hit its uh, touch AC? No. No, no. touch. Oh. Yeah, it, uh, the dice don't want you to hit, apparently. Okay. Is that your turn? No. I, I, that can be yeah, I th think he can... How about 14? Uh, still no. All right. Blindly is a swift action. Never mind. It hasn't gone off yet. Okay, Anatoly. Oh boy. What are your plans for dealing with you having dropped your weapon? Oh, that's easy. As a swift action, I'm going to touch myself. Damn it. Sure. Thanks, Tailspire. That works. Okay. And then I'm casting Searing Light in its face. <laughs> Cast yeah. Lamp. Can I get some spell resistance on that? Yeah, just a sec. Twenty-seven. That'll pass. Cool. Now, is this thing weak to light or no? Not particularly. Okay. Phenomenal. It takes that many damage. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Roughly judge how damaged this thing is supposed to be. Very. It is actively okay. crumbling. I return. What? Is, okay. is, is, it, is it time to capitalize on my name? Please? Probably. If you can hit. Concentrate. I'm fine. I don't know. Do any of those hit? Well. Okay, that's, uh, 28, 29... Wait, did I say 28 and 29? No, that's wrong. That's 37... thirty-seven, thirty-eight, 38, and, uh, 39. Okay, all of them hit. Yeah. Uh, rolling for spell Can you deal less than ten damage? No. <laughs> that figures. How much are you going to overkill it by? <laughs> Glad to see that I'm finally living back up to my name again instead of Leo killing thing. And I, I keep st leaving them on the edge of death. And hoop. Uh, eighty-seven damage. Oh man, you overkilled it by quite an amount. <laughs> the entire suit of armor just crumbles to the ground I'm like no one is inside it anymore I'm surprised it didn't fucking explode uh, no no it's a little charred though 
honestly pretty cool lightning patterns, as far as it goes. Damn, I'm curious about this shield. That's Gage mentioned. Like, I don't have a great appraise check, but I have one. It's better than mine. I... I have appraise. I mean, I'll take a look at it, that's a freaking. Okay. Uh... 23 on appraise, but... 21. If, if there's I'm gonna a... I'm gonna have to pull some stats out of my ass real quick. Oh. Also, if there's anything magical about it that I need to identify, just... Uh... We exit to initiative, please. Sure. Anatoly, could I get some healing, please? How much did you take? So, uh, I'm this <laughs> is a large, heavy steel shield of plus five. I want it. Hot damn. Can you wield large shields, Gage? Yeah, probably with some difficulty. I don't know what the rules are for equipping shields above your size limit. Probably I mean, it's probably the same as large weapons. Let's see. But yeah, I have less, uh, less than half my health left. I have about half of my health left. I don't Actually, know why you ignored me. Wait, hold up. I have two thirds of my health left. Hmm. I'm here trying to figure out how you guys took damage because I'm the only one that remembers getting slapped. Oh, what the oh, last fight? In this fight? Oh, wait, do we recover our health in long rests? Yes. We rested, yes. Oh, okay. I got I'm hit not by damaged, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, he got hit by a he fuck. sidestepped and took an attack of opportunity because he moved on the ground that it wasn't flat-footed. Gotcha. Okay, so Xander, both you and I uh, take 30 healing damage. Yay. And then... I'm fine. But, sure. That's a 20... Another no, 29 he's... healing damage. 20 what? Yeah. Hmm. 29. He, he's healing Xander twice. I'm healing mm. both of us, thank you. Excellent. Well, yeah. Uh, do you still need healing? Uh, I have one no. point missing, no. so no. Alright, I'll just use this one on myself then. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. I... Oh, if I know the psychology of this party right, I'm about to have to keep track of some shit. <laughs> Probably. I spend a uh, arcane point and we get my uh, shocking grasp back. Yeah, I use my pearl. I use. So anyway, uh, what's this large, heavy steel shield base AC plus? Um... And how much does it weigh? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know the rules for enlarging shields. You want me to just quickly... You said a plus five steel shield? A plus five large steel shield. Yeah. Heavy steel, specifically. The one I currently uh, using is normal heavy steel. Before enlargement is gonna be, I do believe, plus eight shield bonus. I'm sorry, what? Assuming that the plus five directly adds to it, and that uh, Masterwork gives it a plus one. Otherwise, it's only a shield bonus of seven. Okay. It, looking at this, weight 30 pounds, AC check minus one, armor class bonus seven. I'm sorry, AC check minus one? Yeah, it's gonna be worse than that, given the non-large version is minus two. No, you said AC, not check penalty. 
Yeah, AC check. Hell. Sean, what are you looking at? Uh, it loses one uh, on its tech penalty because it's now. Okay. Anyway. So, like I said, 30 pounds. AC check minus one. Armor class bonus seven. Arcane failure 15. Does it still have the same AC bonus as a normal steel shield? Yeah. Okay. It's just sized for a different person. And it's enhanced to plus five. Yeah, I'm AC. including the plus five. Yes, now I'm taking the shield. Alright, you have, um... You have a large steel shield. Heyo. This thing is fucking basically a tower shield for you anyway. Yeah, I'm putting my other shield in my bag of holding and then equipping this because it's great, and I'm picking up my sword. Okay, you have one. Alright, sure. Also, do you realize what the cost of this shield is? Absurd. Spicy. Yes. Fucking 25,000. Joke's on you, I could sell my other shield for the same amount. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spicy. Uh, you know what? His is going to be polite. He'll knock on the door. <laughs> After we just murked their guard. Problem solvers! Did, did, did you really... Yes, he just really. God damn it. One moment. Yes, I just really. Oh, does it actually cause it? Anyway. <laughs> you hear a voice from the other side of the door. I'm sorry, but the lady is not accepting visitors at this time. Uh, yeah, we heard. How can we <laughs> schedule an appointment? Uh, your your voice is really not. Uh, I would just not finish that, that sentence. The last person who attempted to say I wasn't uh, the kind of person the lady would. Well, there's an empty suit of armor behind me right now. The lady will be most displeased that you have killed her door guard. He was a dick. Actually. And more, more just the most respectful one in our, in in the building. First of all, Admittedly, yeah. Admittedly, we don't have very many door guards, but well, that that first sounds of all, like to be honest, I did kind of actually like the guy, but oh well. Anyway, in defense, we already got attacked by one ghost, and I wasn't taking chances. Yeah, we're uh, a little bit twitchy. You in know, your defense, why don't you saw it off? Look, buddy. Sounds like a great way to have. Your how's house about on fire. this? You tell the lady, hey, there's a bunch of adventurers here. They want to see that you're not evil. Well, so that they can just fuck off. Otherwise, we're going to have to break down the door and solve the problem by force. <laughs> she doesn't uh... respond to all the threats. Uh, I'll just tell you now, all that would do is get me kicked. Okay, so can we at least ask what she's doing out here? in her house. Not sure what you expected. Okay. Is she a demon? Is she a vampire? Is she a... Necromancer. Yeah, a necromancer. Fill in the blank here. Isn't that part obvious? No. I've had enough of this conversation. Do enjoy yourselves. Uh, I hope you like not having doors, but okay. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. I think we should leave, but real quick, I'm going to go ahead and play... Hold on, what kind of doors are these? <clears throat> Just heavy oak. Okay, cool. Do they open inwards or outwards towards us? They open inwards. At least, you suspect as much, because you can't see any hitches. Phenomenal. So, is this a double door? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and take four of my stubborn nails and put two right through the doors in the bottom. Just to block them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, have fun with that shit. Anyway, I think we should leave. 
I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> my my threat still stands true. They no longer have doors. <laughs> they have become walls. <laughs> I sit there and go. So we just eliminated her door guard. Right. We also eliminated another ghost that attacked us, and I wasn't taking chances. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the. Uh... Um, just off of quick observation, uh, are there any windows that look remotely openable? Um, I'm gonna guess the answer to that is no. <laughs> I, you recall noticing that part of it's demolished. You could probably get in that way if you wanted to. Hmm. I mean, yeah. So wait, I sit there for a moment. As the others kind of turn, I say, yeah, I noticed one wing of the house is demolished. Do you need help with that? <sighs> Alright. You received no response. Sad. Uh, how rough are the walls here? They're pretty well built, actually. Hmm. Any handholds? Uh, along the corners, yeah. Cool. Uh, Gage, every time you step out of the pavilion, you teleport back in. It's frankly getting very annoying. Hmm. Oh, are we actually stuck now? Uh, none of the rest of you seem to be. Uh, is it because I spiked the door? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I mean... Can I do fucking knowledge checks here? Uh, you might want to start with a detect magic check. I mean, yeah, yeah okay, true, that does have a check. I was planning on detecting magic around here anyway. Probably have to... <laughs> So, um, yeah, Gage's shield is still tied quite strongly to that body, which, for all that it's been crushed a fair bit, isn't quite dead. Well, I guess we're going to make it died. I, 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 I look at you and say, the shield seems to be bound to this place. Interesting. So... What do I see inside this uh, room here? Um. And is there magic? It's pretty poorly lit, so it's kind of tough to tell. I do have a lantern of hidden light, so. Yeah, even so. Uh, that said, it looks to be a noble, uh, a noble class master bedroom kind of place. Mm. You know, you got a table with some stuff on it. Anything magic? Some of the stuff on the table looks like it's probably magical. Hmm. Given it's got some aura. I have an idea. Go ahead. Somebody get the room of holding. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around and set it up. No, I, I not set it up there. I set it up right here. Right where? Oh god. If you don't want to plot it down, that's fine. Just like okay. there, or I, I place it back one just to make sure Gage is still technically within the premises when he first. I was like, "So, are you going to put the shield in, or are you going to put yourself in, and then have you move the door?" Oh, I was going to move the body in too, but yeah. Open a doors. Open a doors. All right, and it, it only drags in this whatever it is into the room of holding, and then stands in there and goes, "All right, close the door." Uh. <laughs> okay. I tie off a rope to uh, the banister here and uh, dangle it down. As I see Anatoly going into the room of holding. Uh, looks 
going on down there? Science! Uh, as the door closes, there's a screeching pop, and you're outside. Take two bludgeoning damage. Fuck, excuse you. Huh. I think your science has failed you. Also, the, the body is also outside. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, Sean. Hello? Yeah? With your detect magic ability, could you tell us the uh, magic binding it to this place was a curse? I mean, yeah, speaking of which, I mean, I was also planning on saying frickin'... Wait, the, uh, the knowledge arcana check is part of the frickin' detect magic check, so this is the spellcraft check. As sad as that is, that's still a, uh, 33? Um, it's not quite a curse. It's act it's actually something that's stemming seemingly from the basement of this place. Mm. And I from the basement and can I figure out any properties about how it works or not well. Mm. At the very least, not from here. So I take it it's like the enchantment on the shield just and the body in general is just not stemming from itself, it's stemming from down. Yeah, it's it's stemming from down. I'm like I can't figure out that much about it from here, but it looks like it's uh uh it looks like the answer to our problems is down. Hmm. So it looks like we may need to go inside after all. Uh, speaking of which, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Todd, can I fit through the window? Uh, yeah. There's a window up here. I can fit through it. Why don't we? Just... Anatoly probably couldn't. Why don't just, we just you know. skip a lot of the nonsense and, uh... I'm assuming we don't suddenly trigger a bunch of things all at once. But yeah, that's fair. I look at the rope. Uh, Anatoly, are you even capable of climbing that? I mean, probably. He doesn't necessarily need to, uh, climb it. I can pull him up. No, the fuck you can't. No. Actually, what's your strength? Uh, 20. You might succeed? Yeah. Uh... I see she's fucking strong, man. Yeah, I'm the weak member of the party. Yeah, because right now I'm weighing it at about 210 pounds. Yeah, Shit, we've been debating this long enough that like 14 minutes have passed, haven't we? Oh well. Yeah. Are, are we just going to conclude that you all climb up? Sure. One way or another? Okay. Yarp. I could have sworn that door wasn't there earlier. You might just be blind. I don't know why else you were asking to climb in the window. I wasn't looking, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, okay. Uh, is the door locked? No, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Iron Skin and Magic Vestal on myself. Yeah, I'm, ca I I'm casting Shield. You know what? I'm gonna cast Spell Resistance too. Actually, I'm casting Shield and Eldori Alacrity. I'm casting Blur on myself. Also, make sure to tell me if you ever actually cast Wrathful Mental. I probably should do that, huh? 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and cast Wrathful Mantle as well as on everybody. Sense of duration on that thing is fucking long. Generally. It also has a higher plus, I forget what it is. I think it's a plus three right now. Hmm. Yeah, everybody gets a plus three to all their saving throws for uh, 14 minutes. Oh wait, nope. Lord doesn't work. Uh, cause both displacement and blur are, uh, concealment. Damn it. Uh, can I switch out blur with something else? Since there's literally no reason for me to ever take it again. I think there's a function for that on level. Yeah. Oh boy, some more Oh no, no, you, you can't switch out Blur. You're a wizard. You permanently learn things. Uh, no, no, as in, prepared. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't casted it, eh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, thank you. Hello again. I see that just telling you wasn't enough. Of course not. Obviously. Look. Oh well. There's a problem? We're solving Welcome it. to the ladies' bed chambers. She doesn't use them a lot nowadays. So... Okay, that still doesn't uh, say if a uh, demon or undead. dead. I'm mm -hmm. leaning towards undead. Head. Uh. Yeah. All of us are here. Not sure what you expected. It kind of pays in our business not to does, expect. Does she want to be undead, or does she have a regret? She no. What the fuck kind of question is that? Yeah, some undead are bound. I did ask that out loud, by the way. Uh, he shakes his head. Well, are you just gonna stand there? Do you want the tour? Are you gonna kill me? Oh, a what? tour would be tour? excellent. I want the shield. <laughs> a man of focus. <laughs> Good luck with different. that one. None of us have been <laughs> able to leave in quite some time. I will solve that if I have to. That sounds like a problem we could solve. Regardless, you Good said it before. Like I said. Yeah, oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> There's still stubborn nails in the door. <laughs> you know, I probably should do something about those in case we need to make an escape. So, I did mention this already. That was the lady's bedroom. Right, well, those two are getting yes. into I'm going back down to get my nails. Is a stairwell. I understand this may be a new and exciting concept to you, but it is. On the other side, through the door, which I can't be fucked to take you through, is another stairwell. Because someone liked being symmetrical. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> through this door, which I will not open, is uh, a disused lounge. Any particular reason why? Because there's spiders in there. No, that's fair. Ah, another problem we can solve. <laughs> Sounds like something perfectly well suited for us. <laughs> <laughs> These are the South Wing guest rooms. Um, they're all intact. You can open them if you want matter. Ah, excellent. The door at the end of the hall leads back out into the forest. Through here is the servants' quarters. You want to go through the servants' quarters? Uh, is there anything on the other side of it? Uh, the kitchen, I guess. Sure. Well, this is probably a stupid question. It probably didn't used to be inhabited by undead. I was going to ask what undead eat. Hmm. 
what not an much as it happens. You can see these servant squirters are very servant squirters. Yeah. And then this is the kitchen. We haven't done much. Down there is the cellar. If you want some empty barrels, boy, is that the place for you. You'll notice the two large doors. We use those. Those go, go directly to the dining hall. We use those to carry in the food. Or, you know, we did. And through here is more servants' quarters. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? Always. Yes. And here we arrive at another hallway. <gasps> No. Once upon a time, we did use the space against the wall here for more storage, but that stopped being the case. And this is the North Guests Quarters. There has been some damage. I would hold them. I see a prop out there that looks like it could be of interest. Let's see here. So I take it that the building on the other side of this wall is dining quarters, sorry, of this wall's dining quarters? Yes. Okay. It is indeed. One might even call it the main hall. And lastly, through here, and you see the door has been nailed shut with the uh, carving warning Kyle, is Kyle. <laughs> we leave him where he is. Hey, what's up with Kyle? You don't want to know. Uh, we... That staircase goes back up to the ladies' room, in uh, case you didn't notice. And we're pretty much back where we started. I... Right there is the door that uh, you killed the door guard for. And this door leads to the dining hall. I'm... Can we look into the cellar? I guess. He said empty barrels. I'm pretty sure... Uh... Every one of uh, interest, it would seem, would be in the uh, dining hall at this point. That would be the case. Are you attempting to annoy the lady or to not annoy the lady? Um. All right, I, I literally say it right now. I'm more interested in self. <laughs> you already walked away to the cell. Yeah, that's fair. He didn't follow you or anything. Yeah, no, he shouts just from clear across the building. Yeah, we're more will interested start in the cellar. The cellar as well. I guess we're checking out the cellar. The cellar first. Everyone's to the diner. Was probably like, "What the fuck is going on?" Uh. Oh, this is a. Uh, Does he follow me? A oh, spirit boy. descends through the ceiling. Hey. Hello. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> In a very menacing voice. Oh, oh, hold on. Who said what now? Uh, what are we talking about? This is a Spirit. very Spirit. seller. Very impressive. Well, I'm trying. No, I'm trying to figure out what this spirit got offended at because I'm lost. Yeah, same here. Oh well. Oh well. I e I don't actually remember what you said, but this spirit is still pissed off at you. Uh. I'm guessing that the uh, there is a very noble uh, noble woman looking. Yeah. Uh, might you be the lady? Also the large. I am, and you are not welcome. Leave now. I say there is one thing I want to know first. What's on the other side of this wall? What door? Door? I see no door. See... Okay, Sean, oh. what did you just say? I said, what's on the other side of this wall? I say, pointing at the wall I'm currently facing. Uh, the of uh, the very depressed voice of the butler says, "The ground." 
Dirt. What did you expect? I tried to remember exactly what direction the binding is. It, w it felt like it came from. Would it be on the uh, other side of this ground? No. It'd be no. below you, probably. Oh. Mm. Sorry, in that case, I probably would have pointed at the ground and said, What's uh, deeper than this? The underworld. There isn't anything deeper than that. I'm distinctly getting a magical signature from down there. Must be mistaken. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, he really is. Excuse me! You're excused? <laughs> oh god, I can see that through the wall. I think we should leave. No, never mind, it's barricaded. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Probably <laughs> shouldn't be able to see that. That's purely out of character. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, that's intensely annoying. Pretend that you can't see that. <laughs> that was the plan. I still just like kind of using detect magic to see if I can figure out where exactly that signature is below. Well, uh, unfortunately, we're you're now in combat. Well, yeah. I mean, for the moment, my character doesn't know that yet. Wait, what's up with the initiative order? Hold on, do we need to roll new initiative? I mean, we can. You can. Eh. You don't need to, though. Can I... Basically, I'm trying to find it as soon as I came down here. Tech magic to try to figure out if there's anything hidden or anything. Oh. Yeah, no. In in response to uh Asish, you get slapped soundly in the face with a spike chain. Does thirty one hit flat footed? It would. Roll the for the uh uh the the the, the, the displacement. Yay! I don't do even odds. Oh. I do top half, bottom half. Son so of a bitch. Uh, ripping pieces. Prepare for the ultimate damage of six. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's actually sixteen. There is an actual plus there. But not much of one. Now that was quite so, uh, rude. All right, look, we, we hear that you haven't been able to leave the place. Do you actually want to leave? Because we could help with that. I want you to leave. Can I, I take the shield I with me? that clear. Can I take the shield with me? Anatoly, that's loot. It, we don't ask. But it's technically speaking, hers. <laughs> from behind, practically speaking, you cannot. Permission is irrelevant. See, that's what I'm trying to fix. <laughs> Anatoly, just give me a... Only about a week. I... I'm, I'm sure I could break the, uh... Whatever escaped me here. Okay, we'll break the curse. The lady here clearly doesn't want us here. And I'm not leaving without the shield, so it looks like we're fighting. As a swift action, I'm using my sacred weapon to cast Ghost Touch. Okay. And, uh, that, the lady's yeah, getting on, uh... It a really good thing, too. Then it appears like uh, there might be a problem here for, if not you, everyone else. So, uh, yeah. We'll be solving that problem. Hey, Whether I, you I like it or not. I, I take it Gage is attacking. Uh, he is, at, yes. At this point, yes. Oh, shit. Ah. Phenomenal. Thanks, Tailspire. 
Okay, I didn't block ah. it. <laughs> this is a 28 hit. No. Ooh. Spicy, this one. Looks like I'm playing Buff Boy this game. Alright. I mean, you roll really freaking low. Yeah, and I'm going to continue rolling low because Tailspire. Sigh. Alright. Um, by the way, did she not make an attack opportunity? Oh, right, no, he did not. <laughs> she smacked Xander. Uh, well. Freaking. Seems like a good time to do this. I... Sighing. I go over. Oh, she's flanked. That helps. Uh, so at your approach, she flips around to hit you with the spiked chain. Okay, what's the two head? 32. She misses. <laughs> it just whiffs her right over your head. <laughs> um, well... I guess it's the correct day for this. Uh, I'm also freaking using Benthic spell. Nah. Just to make sure. I first of all, I take it that hits. Probably, yeah. Knowing you. And then rolling to confirm crit. That's a plus 27, so... That confirms. Alright. Good day. So I deal... Oh wait, I do actually need to roll this little part of it, and then... I do... 1, 2, 3... And then... I deal... I deal... 156 damage. Bob. Oh. I also immediately uh, cast Shock and Grasp again. And attack again. Spooky. Oh, son of a... <laughs> You're just gonna one-shot the lady. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Oh. That's, uh, rolling to confirm crit. Hmm. Confirm crit. I don't know, does it? Uh. I mean, given it's higher than last time, yeah, that confirms. Ah. <laughs> uh. 127 Within damage. Echoing, wailing screech that almost seems to come from below. I think we found the source. <laughs> I have to freaking watch. I sit there and say, I felt like it was a good time to do that. <sighs> Very impressive. Continuing the tour, since you are so enthused, here we have some empty containers. We'll note a door behind the empty containers. Do not open that door. Uh, wait, what's behind that door? Do not open that door. Look, All right. that door... Over here, you will find open. unopened containers that may or may not be empty. I cannot remember at this point. And another door. Through here, we just have some repair materials and stuff. Uh, if you want to explore, you can. I just cannot be bothered. I. We'll try and leave the main dining room alone. Uh, sticking in my group, but. Uh, Leo, are you going to be following the party? Yeah. Okay. 
Actually, I'm gonna go check out these barrels. Hey, what about this door back here? You are ignored. Uh, uh, those barrels contain what is probably at this point considered a very fine wine. <laughs> Truly ancient. Right, you know what? I'm already taking the shield from them. I'm going to leave the lady her wine. Assuming All we don't right. murder her with uh, what's going on in the basement basement. So uh, there's a door there. Is it locked? What's your plan? Oh, it is locked. Yes. Cool. Rolling disabled device. Thank you. Maybe. What's that come out to? Uh, 29. You know, I'm still processing the fact that I did about 300 damage in one turn. <laughs> I'm just a little bit miffed by that myself. <laughs> it happens. Unfortunately, uh, find the lock to be halfway a bit too complex and halfway a bit too rusted. Mm. Sounds like it's time for the skeleton key. We're breaking down this door! I... Glad no you were to announce that, but... I'll pull out my skeleton key. Might as well. I don't know... Oh, there we go. Get the fuck out of the way. This is the enchanted crowbar of paperwork, right? Yes. Okay. You, uh, gonna roll that? Sure am. Wow, that's a solid 11 for now. I roll an assistance. Wow. This is, this assume, is assume, great I'm, assume I'm always doing aid other for the entire time he's trying to do this. I'm, uh, also assisting. Scrape, scrape. And, uh, I, I cast, uh... So 25 to strength to assist with the, uh, yanking open of the door. I, I'm pretty sure aid another is a specific action. Uh, no, you can actually... I think you might be able to do a shared strength check specifically. Yeah, that's... Uh, I add 17 to that strength check. That said, it's effectively advantage. Uh, gauge. Oh. Yes. All of you working together, you are finally able to crack the door open. Yeah! You break away a significant chunk of the wall doing that, but hey, whatever. Alright, Asish, this is about the time when Gage should be taking the plane. Hey, hold up. It damages the wall, yes? Mm -hmm. Does the wall count as an object? Uh, that depends on the context. I cast Mending on it. That, you, that has a very, very long casting time. Oh yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, I'll do it later. What? Wow, this uh, doesn't look ominous. I'm going to touch the very obvious lever right here. Um... Not even going to bother looking for traps unless my 34 passive perception tells me anything. So, purely because he's taking point and has better initiative... <laughs> Gage, by the way, about your passive perception, as you're walking in, you do see very obvious holes in the floor where spikes come out. Oh, the ones that I'm standing on? Yeah. Oh, cool, I should probably not be standing on those. <laughs> uh, those two. It's like the whole place. Oh. Even where Everything the lever is? beyond the door. Well, no, I guess you could balance on the lever. I, I gotta try. Would, would I need a roll for that, or...? Uh, how porous are the uh, bricks down here? Can I climb up Technically, but easy? it's like DC-10. Cool. DC uh, you'd have a, hard, a slightly difficult time climbing up them, but... Cool. Uh, no a, check required. <clears throat> Just kind of get up to the ceiling and start crawling along the ceiling over to the lever. I got the lever <laughs> if you, uh. All, all I can think while you're. Uh, while Hasish is doing this is, you missed! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll let Hasish do it. Hasish, Okay, cast. so. 
Pull lever. <laughs> Do you want me to roll strength? No. Does anybody have a, a lasso? There's a loud clang. That's and well, spikes. you're not damaged. Uh. What's the point of a lever there? That's whole purpose is to get people uh, acupunctured. Probably curiosity. Uh, that is its purpose to get people <laughs> it's acupunctured. <laughs> it's curiosity bait. Uh, Hasish looks at the crest on the wall. Oh, for fuck's sake! The switch is hidden behind this crest. So, um, a as the spikes shoot up, they also let out quite a bit of steam. Oh. Siege, take two fire damage. Two. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> slipping up the lever. <laughs> yeah. You flip the lever back, and the spikes fall back down. Right. Siege <laughs> casts fondle at the. <laughs> He's fondling the crest. Yep. Real good. I do believe I have found whatever hidden switch might be behind that crest. Alright, uh, Gage, roll well. Roll well? Oh boy, <laughs> I'm real good at that. Does Hasish just yell, I'm gonna fondle this? That's a 39. Okay, you are barely able to keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> you determine after uh, some intense fondling that this crest is indeed made of two decorative swords and a decorative shield hung on a perfectly ordinary stone wall. Go sit there and go. Switch. So, here's the thing. Can we just open those trapdoors? Huh. <laughs> Thonk. <laughs> I know it! I literally was planning to, but then they noticed the lever and I was like, might as well. That's great. Congratulations. Oh, it's knock, time knock, to first. stairs. Knock knock fuckers, it's tank. <laughs> Woo, it's super foggy down here. I can't see what I got on the damn thing. I can't see shit! <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way, can you rotate oh. me please? <laughs> the land is back! Hi there! Donkey shins. Something something round two joke. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh boy. I sit there and go, Well, that's just upsetting. I already burned that thing. I can only What's do that once again. I have to do it again. Who the can? <laughs> Wait. It'll be fine. I'm curious if I did so much overkill damage that it's actually damaged this version. <laughs> so. Without having to open multiple pages. <clears throat> that looks like a uh, ritual altar. Really? Uh, Sean. Yeah. I call out at the lady. You get a ray shot at you. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Jeez, I'm willing to talk, are we? Hit the bottom of the stairs. Wait, it hits the bottom of the stairs? No, as soon as you get to the bottom of the stairs, you get a ray right. shot at you. What's it to hit? Uh, hold on, math. I do believe that's 25 versus touch. Damn. Okay. Hey, hey, there's no I mean, I don't blame her. You get three <laughs> negative levels? Yeah. Says you. <laughs> anyway, frickin'... I, I, I guess she heard a sigh behind her. Walk up. She attempted to hit me. I just casually avoided it, and she exploded. Yep. Well, whatever it is, I don't like it. As a swift action, I'm casting mighty strength on myself. 
And then I'm charging attack with power attack and channeling force. But thank you, Tailspire. <laughs> that is. Uh. No. 30 to hit. Your attack rebounds like you had just struck a castle. I sigh and say, we need to deal with the thing behind us. I also have another idea, but that can wait until next turn. I Meredith, love... You have a lot of math to do on your sheet. I love how she waited for me specifically to descend the stairs. Oh, yeah. You did earn it. Yeah. Yeah, I really should have saved it. I considered it, but I already thought, uh, the late most toughest thing in this place. Uh. I'm sitting here wondering if that's a deflection bonus, or if that's actual armor. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> the frickin' light. I'll take a five. Or actually, first I'll do. Okay, first of all, I cast glimpse of truth, which gives me the true seeing for one round. Uh, what does true seeing do in this context? Uh, I had let him see. It's frickin' illusory or hidden down here. Oh. Nope. Nope, okay. Everything is as it appears. I just needed to make sure, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, He's all. Sit there for a moment and go, okay, I mean, it's clearly pissing me, so I take a five foot step back. Up the, nah, not a five foot step. I'm like, I'm gonna walk up the stairs again for just a minute. Reasonable. Oh, okay. So. Just love that in my perspective, you just like ascend <laughs> yeah. with nothing under here. You're just like, whoop. <laughs> I must. So go. I'll be careful not to stand on the spike hole, but other than that, I'm, I'll be at the top of the stairs. Um, uh, am I in a good enough position where I would be able to um, land arrows without potentially injuring teammates? Yes. I mean, probably. Even if you do almost hit me, you'll have to roll miss chance. Yeah, unless you get a nat one, <sighs> you're not hitting teammates from that position. Eh. Go, my dice. <laughs> Fight for me. Oh. Yeah, that that awkward <laughs> moment where I <laughs> somebody it. said nat one, but hey, the nat twenty is on the two arrow strike, so. Uh, oh man. Now let's roll confirm those. Uh, my. Plus to hit is 22, so... Probably not if I didn't get it with a 22. <laughs> um... Well, I'm just rolling to not... critically fail. <laughs> so... All of your arrows clatter to the floor, ineffectual. Oop! Hmm. Mm. Spooky. So even a 42 to hit doesn't do anything, huh? Specifically, even a nat 20 to hit doesn't do anything. Hmm. Zeesh. By, hmm. by the way, given the negative energy beam, the fact that I've seen her down here and I saw her upstairs, can I roll knowledge roll some kind? Uh, you, you can always roll a knowledge roll of some kind, it just might not be helpful. Well, okay, I mean, it's obviously religion because she's a- Thing is, I'm very- <sighs> that sucks. Get to there. It's not something you've even heard about. And then cast, uh, Expeditious Retreat on myself. Okay. That is my turn. Fear not, allies. I shall be the distraction. Yeah, it's like 
Gage, I don't, at this point, I don't think Gage can be a fraction as long as I'm downstairs. Ah, fuck. I... Guess I'm technically in range of that? I'm not sure if I have line of sight, though. You don't need line of sight. Ah. Dice, are you okay? The, uh, lady lets out quite the scream. Everyone fortitude saves. Uh, is that spell well. resistance? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, spell resistance, actually. One moment. Uh, does a... 27 pass? Barely. Okay, then you, so, are, you do need to fortitude save. Got it. Tasty. What's the fortitude DC? 25. I fail. Oh, I, I just totally succeeded. Um, <laughs> I, I pass. Surprisingly, 26. Nice. You're saying that only Hasish takes any damage from this. Yep. All uh, right, that just straight up does 190 damage. Holy Oof. fucking shit! Fucking. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just perma dead then. Ah, uh, well, maybe. Well, Gage might. Okay, I am negative 96 health. The dice gods do not like you. <laughs> they don't like any of us. Whew! Eesh. I don't know, they're being actually okay for to me today, surprisingly. And there's nothing I could have done to uh, have prevented that. Alright. Cool. What was that? Fucking whale? The Banshee or something? Yeah, that's, that's, that's def actually. That's absolutely Banshee whale. That is precisely what it was. Uh, yeah, so, oh, minimum cast for level 18. Got it. Delta 190 uh. damage. That's a little bit of a hint. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Anatoly, what's your move? So did anybody call out about that ritual? Yeah, I actually. Guess, actually, first of all, I think Xander just said it. You were right next to him. Oh boy, so it sounds like I'm playing Disruption now. Hmm. As Hasish screams out and collapses behind you. Yeah, to be fair. Oh, I'll get to you in a minute. Any any level 19 entities th that receives that is probably going, Dear God, what? Also, if they recognize a shocking grasp, they are probably confused. Yeah, <laughs> you went up and one-shotted a level 19 spellcaster. I'm just like... Nice. Why? <laughs> can, I, can I see that ritual table behind the lady? Yeah, absolutely. Can I see what's on it? Yeah. What's on it? Uh, oh. A skeleton with a, heart, with a knife stabbed right into its chest where its heart would be. Uh, sounds like I'm gonna be taking that knife out of its chest. Or at the very least, fully attempting to. I'm fully taking an attack of opportunity for this, so by all means, go for it. <laughs> yeah. I, I figured you would just accept the attack of opportunity. Particularly because, uh, 38 to hit? Absolutely not. Yeah, it clings <laughs> off of your armor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So anyways, uh, I grab this Kadeef and yank it, or do Little my shrimp. best to. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ah, phenomenal! <laughs> Thank you, Jaspire. <laughs> Not what you do, like fumble the knife. Oh no! no I, I ran out. I ran in, and in my excitement to get the knife out of the chest, I ended up falling into the table and probably poking myself on the spikes, taking I don't know how much damage. I uh. Sure. Fucking... Um, what's the hardness of your armor? What do you mean by hardness? Are we talking HP-wise, or...? 
Material hardness. Steel. Effectively. So, um, you fall into the table and you break off one of the spines. Nice. Polyrinith, it's your turn. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, so I saw that ritual down there. You did. I'm literally going to spend an entire turn racking my brain to what I could discern about it while maintaining detect magic earlier. That's um, terrible, but... All of the power is centered on the heart of the skeleton that has been stabbed. Okay. It seems to be a critical point. And I'm like, you just hear from up the stairs, yeah, it's probably the heart. You don't say! Uh, Leo. You were just mm -hmm. very spooked by a very loud scream. And one of your allies instantly dying. Um... Maximize magic. Will of magic. <laughs> I'm going to attempt... One more time, just to see. Probably not. <laughs> Pew! It's a plus 22 to hit. Got it. That, that moment where I am the walking epitome of if you truly think that level 1 spells aren't useful. <laughs> well, level 2, really. You're talking to a guy with a crowbar that fills out paperwork. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> also, Todd, technically speaking, I guess I two shot her, but still. One turn, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, Matt. Mm-hmm. The lady makes no move to dodge. Your arrows don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Is I that figured. all you're doing this turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't do anything else. And theoretically, you could run to help Gage. But I understand oh. your hesitation to do that. Yeah. It's my job to be the distraction. Leave me up front. Uh, so Gage. Yeah. Fortitude safe? Oh boy. Spell resistance? Uh. 25? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a frankly terrifying spell was just cast in your general direction. Yeah, spell resistance! <laughs> Paul! Oh, hey, there we go. That's 21. <laughs> In a moment of extreme anticlimax, there's kind of a dull thud. I turn around if I happen. The fog is just gone. Nice. And so is the lady. Even better. It's just you'll give me a blue. moment. Are those blue fires still supposed to be there? Nope. Okay. Are we getting any XP for that? Yeah. Cool. I certainly hope we are, given what I did! So, anyway, I'm casting Race Dead on Hastish. Let me... Uh, double... Check. I mean... There's nothing about Whale the Banshee that has a hard to raise factor. Uh. Let's see, just to be sure, does your soul want to return to your body? Seesh? I think yeah. Xander, Xander might have gone AFK because he was very much dead. Ah. Uh. 
Did he just forget that I can race dead? Granted, that was, <laughs> like the rest of my uh, diamond dust, so don't die. Doesn't Sean have a collection of diamond dust? Yes. Not much, but. Ah. Uh, the amount of diamond dust I own. All right, is, fair enough. Ah. Uh, well, after this is over, you want to send me another five thousand gold worth? Yeah. Ooh, cool. Harsh, but yeah. Resurrection is harsh. Yeah. If that freaking guy that gave us the tour is still around after that ritual, he's probably going to be very concerned that we actually managed this. Right, because that reduced the lighting level pretty severely, let me tweak this here. Yeah, I can't see shit. Okay, five. Do you say 5,000 gold worth? Yeah. Uh, now that made it a shit. little bit too bright outside. And just adjust Let me see it when we get back Eh, yeah. I don't know why, but the clip that's playing, or this music that's playing right now, reminds me of the Halo soundtrack. God damn it. Somehow I only have 4,250 gold points worth of diamond dust. You failure. I think it's because we spent some before. See, this is why I compulsively collect diamond dust. Todd made it a joke at one point, just give me unreasonable amounts of it. Because I never <sighs> settled. Uh, let me see. If only I could cast fucking resurrection, then I could just use frickin' blood money. Right, so what spell was cast on me at the end there that failed? Uh, implosion. Ah. Yeah, the, this boss did not bother to cast any spells of lower level than ninth. <laughs> she saw what we could do, she was just done with our shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad I saved that previous... thing. So Hasish is back alive then. I resurrected you, but Todd asks the question of uh, if your soul wants to come back or not. Yes. Okay. Okay. It is strictly speaking a requirement. Congratulations Sorry, on being alive again. Get that. Wait, notice. Uh. You're still probably gonna have to deal with that uh, negative level. Oh, by the way, is the negative levels on me permanent or temporary, Todd? Uh, they're temporary. Do you want to make the rolls now? I no. Okay, my second question is, are they the temporary that has a chance of turning per? They are. Do you want to make okay. the rolls now? No, I don't probably, want... You should probably do that now while you have Wrathful Mantle. Well, no, the thing is, I'm going to be asking you, I believe, if I'm correctly, Restoration is cheaper if it's being cast on temp level. Uh, Restoration was... Hold on. Are you going to use blood money to restore yourself? Gage has to cast it, unfortunately. Sad. Yeah, fun fact about that, I don't have that prepared. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not restoration? What was it? Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the frickin'. It's, it's restoration. restoration. So, uh, Todd. Okay. 29 to, uh, study the ritual and take down notes. Unfortunately, all you have is the aftermath, but it looks like a honestly lesser form of a lich that's finding. Out of character, that's what I figured, but in character. Yeah, we ain't getting taken down by no bastardized lich. And then uh... it does have the advantage of binding them, uh, regardless of any damage dealt to their incorporeal form. But it's also very limited in a lot of other ways. And his just... Did we just destroy their phylactery? Effectively. You unplugged one, certainly. 
So that means if I plug it back in, the lady will pop back out. Very possibly. Do you want to try? No. I mean, I'm going to freaking study the ritual, so maybe I'll know. <sighs> Thankfully, I still get plus 27 on knowledge. Wait, 25. Um, you're quite certain something will happen if you plug the dagger back in. Okay. But it's hard to tell what. So what do these notes uh, read? So, this is a lot of intense necromantic research. It does include the full notes if you wanted to, for some reason, recreate that ritual. I'll put it Although it looks like part of it is based off of where this is located, so you would have to do it in a the same spot or a magically similar spot. Yeah, I... And looking at the notes... like to open a sarcophagus? Can I? God damn it. <laughs> oh. I, I mostly check. Was this done unwillingly to the lady, or does this appear to actually be her? It's impossible to tell. Damn. So it definitely could have been unwilling. Yeah, Hasisha just adds to his notebook of forbidden fucking magic, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, for the, sake of, for the sake of keeping the moral high ground here, we're going to assume she was unwilling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, if she was willing, we still have the moral high ground, because we, we put the bitch down. No, we... I would say, if we have a moral high ground, it's because it seems to have affected the servants, too, but few of them existed. Sure. I'm... Holy shit. Hmm? Uh, Sean, given your current location and activities, I'm going to need you to roll a will save. Oh, okay. My one... Okay. One of my very rare characters that isn't necromancy-focused yeah. okay. is the one getting all of the necromancy shit. <laughs> that was my necromancy that focus. That sucked, and that's a 15. <laughs> nice. Well done. Actually, it might be a 16. No, the 15. Also, Gage, I thought you were a spontaneous caster. No, I stopped to prepare spells. Huh. It's annoying. Unless uh, Todd wants a house rule at. Oh no, I am a spontaneous caster. <laughs> okay, in which case, while we can, before I have to roll saves, I would like to give you a hundred gold points worth of restoration and have you cast that on. I don't know, it says here that I can expend any prepared spell that isn't uh, effectively a cantrip to cast any cure spell at the same level. So uh, is restoration technically a cure spell? No. Oh. So no. I don't think so, even though it is conjuration healing. Uh, cure spells are specifically defined as spells with word cure in their name. I have yeah. now added the uh, ritual that did this to the ever-growing book of bad juju. <laughs> There's a lot of other notes in here if you want to add more stuff to the yeah, book yeah, of bad just, juju. It is the ever-growing book of bad juju. I mean, Honestly, at this a... point, it's a bookshelf of bad juju. <laughs> Yeah, if we want to take a long rest down here so I can prepare restoration for you, then... Unfortunately, Fine. the duration of a long rest, even with your ring, is going to be longer than the current countdown until he has to make that check. Do I make the check on all of them, or just on one? All of them. Okay. Regardless, there's not much I can do about that right now. So, the ever-growing tome of bad juju. Just out of curiosity, what spell was actually cast on me for those snake levels? What, uh, what, what the frickin' interbait? No, that was energy drain. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'm That's guessing that we're, uh, 
ending the session here because that sounds like the thing that Matt said he'd have to leave for. Probably. So how much XP are we looking at? Uh, a lot. Tasty. Hold on, I need to reopen a page. Sat. Anyway. <laughs> Boss slayer. Anyway. Jesus fuck. Seriously, fuck. Yeah. I felt I hadn't been living up to my title sufficiently lately. Oh god, I get two feats this next level if we level. We probably won't quite. But if we do, oh man. Mm -hmm. My uh, progress mm -hmm. towards an mm -hmm. asshole mm -hmm. build is uh, definitely underway. Oh, you're getting 64,000 experience. Jesus Christ. Each. 64,000 flat? Experience. He said each. Mm -hmm. Okay, Drew, that is a level. Oh, boy. And there's a certain amount of looting of the mansion to be done. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That is fully assuming the servants are uh, also dead. Oh yeah, that's well above the level. Uh, level fifteen time. So our total is now four four one seven forty. Sounds right. Yeah. Uh, four four one seven four zero. Oh boy, I get a, I get a third attack. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and poke the oh, God, so spider do I. tree. Oh boy, that means I do too. Level 15, a bab of 15. <laughs> oh dear fuck. Oh, I get armor training and a feat this time. Oh, the the squint evolved this level? Oh, and we get mega. Yeah. Oh, right. Hey, Todd, were there any comments from Squint when I did that to the pole? And then another, there was the experience. general feeling of, as expected. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just as I expected. God damn! <laughs> oh, my weapon damage was 2d6 instead of 1d10! Oh, my, fuck. <laughs> my bab goes up to 15! I'm now way more spooky. <laughs> and I get six level spells, and I get really fun things like banishment. Sean, we get fifth level, another fifth level spell. My fortitude save goes or we up get two to spells per level. nine. Um, oh, yeah, don't you're all one. you're all down there, and you hear from behind me. Uh, excuse me. I just like to say, first, thank you. Second, do you mind killing me? Oh, oh, absolutely. don't want to exist here anymore. Plus okay. Five. Um, detect magic, spellcraft, whatever. Is he bound to something over here that we can disable, or...? I think no, he <laughs> appears to be a regular undead. Okay, yeah, uh, just, uh... I, said, I actually, I turned to Gage and say, hey, I mean, you're the one with magic, you're probably the best to do this. Uh, what? Please mm -hmm. hold still. Mm -hmm. The yes, undead I just to... cosmic ray him into oblivion. Purified. Eh. <laughs> you, you turn around and he's just been melted. Yeah, I think he's just got this. Yeah, and th that, that'll count as a coup de gras, honestly. Yeah, yeah 15 d6 oh, no, damage shit. I don't think at, this, oh. at this point. His cosmic ray is fucking spooky. So, um... <laughs> You hear a squawk, and a tiny bone dragon jumps down the stairs, attempts to flare its wings, and then falls flat onto the floor. I sit there oh, and no. I go, was, was that the room with the thing? And it runs up to Hasish and bites you in the leg. <laughs> I, bites good, too! Son of a- Oh, God. My femoral yes. artery! Uh, what is your AC? <laughs> Currently? 
31. Yeah. Okay, so that does not confirm. Or, I, uh... uh... Oh, wow. It does a whole four non-lethal. Non-lethal! Yes. Hmm. Get to pick from the fighter bonus feast list. Bat! I think I was smash. going for empty quiver. What do you say, smash? Swipes at it with sword. Like, you just. Ow. Oh. Not stepping on it. Learning. Uh. Yeah, it really see. just is one of those days. I fucking see. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, well, congratulations. You utterly annihilated Paws. Fucker, bit me in the femoral artery. Sorry, was Paws the name of that room we were told to not enter? No, Kyle was. All right. Yeah. You're probably still going to have to clear out Kyle. Well, there's have to, and then there's could. Oh, we're going to. He might be a threat to someone sometime. Especially since he might be <laughs> down now. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Ah. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 I am now scary in melee. Very, very scary. About a minute later, both of the normal flames wink out. Yeah. Nice. Or Who am I hearing that going? But... Ow! Wait! Would a long rest actually be <clears throat> sooner than the energy drain check? Because it says the check is 24 hours after gaining the le negative levels. I thought it said two hours. No, no, 24. Oh, okay, you can do that then. Okay. I just, I don't want to deal with the permanent negative levels later. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, a member of the party is already dealing with them, but we are. Ah, I have dragon's blood. It's funny, I actually have quite a few backups <laughs> for circumstances like this. Siege looks at his uh, research notes and goes, No one will ever buy these that I would ever sell these to. Oh, uh, I am being summoned to my work meeting. Alright. All right. We'll just finish Lunch. the show. Uh, should I yeah. kill the recording now, or...? Probably. Um, I don't know, I'll be right back. You, you don't necessarily need to, because it sounds like Matt's probably okay with us uh, cleaning up the loot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you find anything that you think would fit a ranged fighter, uh, please keep it for me. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Bye. See you. But yeah, I mean, so we probably take a long rest. Gage probably casts Restoration on deck. How many casts can you do Restoration per day, Gage? Not here. Yep. I'm really sad that you killed Paws. Sorry. I, I was tempted to take it as a pet, but... Oh, so was I. Until it bit me. What did you expect from a useless undead dragon? I would have expected the non-lethal damage to convince you. Uh, at that point, Hisish was just in nope mode. Legitimately, if this was basically yeah, any other character I've ever played, Oh, that's adorable! Aw, oh, it thinks it's harmful. Man, again, I don't blame him because, I mean, it did bite him and it likely came down here and bit him because it's Lady God. Yeah. <laughs> Asish Removed. doesn't like undead. 
Huh. Yeah. Right, I'd actually forgotten about that. Yeah. Every other character of mine is uh, undead, at least ambivalent. I see. She views them as abominations. I actually don't think I remember you saying that detail before, but... <laughs> Fair. He, he's very much lawful good. Hmm. It's not like he's from a culture that goes... That thinks undead are, uh... Acceptable. It's fair. So are you guys actually just not going to search? Oh, we are. Are you waiting for Gage to I, not come I mean, back? I was mostly waiting for Gage to come back. Yes, to search. Ask him how many restorations he has per day. But... That's, uh, that's a Our wonderful... Return. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, Gage, how many times can you cast restoration <laughs> per day? We are taking a long rest. How many do you want me to prepare? Two. Why? Well, one is so sure a negative one. level from uh, Hasish. Yeah, what is a certain okay. amount of cannot afford? It's only 1,000 gold. Huh. Yeah, anyway, that's fine. I can prepare two of them. So yeah, this will cost 1,100 gold worth of diamond dust. Which unfortunately means I'm going to have to break that diamond dust out of glass, but oh well. So, That's I am now uh, properly equipped to make uh, not only Todd, but also the rest of the party hate me. Oh god. Because I now have greater blind fight. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> For my next trick, you don't see anything. Uh, anyone ah, else? I just on those goddamn goggles. Goggles. Please remember, I have goggles of everyone else has vision but me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know goggles that's just of dark vision. vision. That's... But yeah, well, no, they are goggles of everyone around me gets dark vision except me. That won't help. Yeah, I know. So as far as searching the room, uh. Rolling is very nice, but like, what are you paying attention to here? Well, these. You've already pretty much cleared the bookshelf. These walls. Well, first off, there's a thing of weapons in a mirror over here, which are probably magical. So, Actually, yeah, are you pointing doors. detect magic at them? Yeah. Alright, you got a couple potions of blood. Uh, if they're actually made of blood, I'm just going to set them aside. I mean, are they any special kind of blood? Or are they just blood? Are they dragon blood? They're not dragon blood. They appear to just be blood. They're okay, labeled just... with a name concerning. Yeah, okay, that figures. Don't make me come up with this kind of thing. It's fine. You said they had a name. <laughs> he does have a point, but... I okay, fine. fine. One of them is Ephraim Warrington. Okay. Anyway, still... <laughs> I will... Wait. Hello? You have found the crypts. Uh, are you casting to detect magic on those weapons there? Uh, yes. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm just checking uh, your... So, first off, the mirror is enchanted to hide its magical signature. And second, um, you're going to want to roll Arcana on that strong signature. <laughs> anyway, oh. over here in the crypt area, 24. Uh, oh. Oh, Actually, 30. 30. 30. Let me bring up the rolls for Detect Magic. Why is that up in first hey, edition? Uh, Elrodith, you might want to come look at this. Okay. And, and my question for Todd was, many of these 
sarcophagi have, uh, um, names on them? Uh, they all have names on them, as long as you don't ask me what they are. Okay. No, the thing is, I was just going to make a statement of, like... But yeah, this actually appears to be a family crypt. Yeah. Uh, not and... all of them have the same surname, but most of them have the same surname as at least one of them. Yeah. I mean, basically all I'm going to be doing is, I know that this is a bit of a weird thing to do, but... I'm going to be returning all of the name label blood bottles to their respective sarcophagi. Interestingly, the name label blood bottles don't ma don't match any of the sarcophagi. Oh, uh, okay. Well, anyway, in hey, that yeah. case, I am going to go over and look at this mirror. Did, did, did Xander find anything out? Uh, he found out that it is strongly enchanted, and then he failed the check to identify it. Really? 34. Fail. I thought you said it was 20-something. 34. Uh, he, he, he I rolled an 18, that's 16 math. arcana. I did say 24 originally, then I went, oh wait, no. Oh. So, 34. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you determine that it has an aura of strong abjuration and divination. Abjuration again. Shields. Cool. It probably yeah. sees outside, but I. Anyway, and having determined that, I mean, okay, I'm gonna roll actual full blown spellcraft because uh, this has this is a magic item property. Uh, is he just yeah. going to roll uh, use magic device? Oh, you're just going oh, to attempt to charisma it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Whatever. He's just going to one. try to focus on, uh, let's say, his father. Twenty-five. The mirror clouds. Whatever. Anyway, it is no longer functioning as a mirror. My uh, my spellcraft check is thirty-nine. Can I? see anything through the mirror. I love that there's no rules on what the check ought to be to determine. Oh, never mind. There it is. 39? Yep. <laughs> that is, uh... <sighs> well... It's very expensive. Like, this is the loot for this encounter. Ah. Uh -huh. Do I not identify it? Do I need to take an extended check or something? No, I, I sent you a link. Oh, okay. So, as uh, for, um... Okay. Can you see anything through it? No, you absolutely cannot. It is only cloudy. Okay. Let's try something closer to us. Uh, Siege focuses on the, uh, Night Traders. I, 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 I tap your shoulder. You, you can stop that. That's not going to be how that works. Oh. Um... 16 at this point, but... Well, the thing is... It actually does start showing the Night Traders. That's like... Okay, so it was already active. Sailing. Okay. So it can't... Yeah, he rolled pretty good on the use magic device. Oh yeah, of course. So it can't uh, pierce to mint. I see focuses on... Uh... I'm like, fuck it. Do you just want me to explain what this thing is to you? I know what this thing is. It's, it's a divination mirror of some sort. Well, no shit, yeah. Is there N something... Now, I wouldn't say just touching it, because it's also a portal. It's also a what? A portal. Yeah, and especially as it's currently focused on a fast-moving vehicle, that wouldn't end well. A 
see refocuses I say, it. Well, you're not. This thing actually should be able to uh, to planar hop, but this entire region is fucked. It, yeah, uh, focuses it on the uh, gnome village. Do I? Uh, should I roll again? Gnome village. The, the gnome city. Honestly, at this point, you can take a ten on this particular function. That is to say, yeah, you got it figured out as long as you're not in combat. Okay. And it doesn't work. Hmm. Just clouds over again. Odd. I sit there for a moment and I go, I think use it, uh, doing use magic device select, do you know what the fucking commands are, right? Uh, at this point, he's effectively imitating the commands through prestigitation, but yeah. Oh, I'm like... I... It would be relatively easy to derive the commands from that. What, what are the commands? It, they're just some words in Necrol. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying that in character to him. What are the commands? Well, it seems to be... Uh, it pulls out the uh, tome. Well, I figured it was probably yes, the something. Notes on it. <laughs> it was probably something from one of these, so I just started with the uh, with what made sense. Uh, I think this is the uh, um. Yeah, oh yeah, my hell! Our, our character's the probably of the uh, language. Necrol. No, I as a player no, but the C doesn't. Uh. Language of the there. dead people. Necrol. Yes, uh, the necrol uh, word for think look might also be see. I say I literally speak necrol and necrol. Or wait, do I? I should. Apparently, I don't. Never mind. I, <laughs> sorry, my bad. No idea what you just said. Uh, Gage, are you still here? Yes. You have any opinions on them? Uh, experimenting with this mirror? Truth Are you told I to... wasn't listening because I was looking at other things. Oh, okay. Are you going to rifle through all the coffins? Uh, may as well. Disrespect the dead? Anatoly! Yeah. Uh, I think I might have a way for you to get the shield outside of the uh, premises. I suspect it's already unbound. Oh. Actually, yeah, let's, let's check that. And uh, while you're here, I'm just going to note every single one of those weapons, including the shield, oddly enough, has similar but slightly different enchantments of uh, ritual necromancy. Hmm. Beep. Also, I, uh... U using the command words, I am going to attempt. I know that this probably won't work, but I am going to attempt to oh, view okay. the city on the flip side that we're currently on. Or not mean, that we're currently on, I mean the, uh, this, the city in the jungle side? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Big yeah, surprise, I'm sure. That makes sense. I'm just interested, uh, interested because, like, and I was trying to think well, of a place I'm on, really actually. familiar with. Because, Let uh, me just, uh... Never mind. It does work after a fashion. You get to see some sandy, overblown ruins. I mean, don't we already know that location, too? We do. But... Yeah. You've gotta be shitting me. I sigh. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know what I was looking for specifically, but... Okay, I changed my mind. I'm not full asshole build. You're not what, Gage? I'm not full asshole build yet. I've changed my mind. Okay. I'm, I'm, I focus on the, uh, the castle that we've seen multiple times now. So you get to see the castle ruins with the, uh, exploded ritual circle and everything? Yeah. I sit there for a moment and I go, this might actually disprove your planar bullshit. Yeah, this is some sort of demi-plane or something, because 
My father is still alive, uh, but he's outside of the while region. You're, while you're arguing with each other, a huge red dragon flies past. Close. Wait, while it's over the castle? Uh-huh. Castle of Ruins. Also, red dragon, not black dragon, right? Yeah, a red dragon. I have what? I mean, I'm going to freaking focus on uh, the dragon. Anatoly, we might have a thing to do. Uh, your attempt to focus on the dragon fails just because of lack of familiarity. Ah. I start, just start sweeping the sky with the uh, mirror if I can do so. You can't. So I can't, uh, imagine, uh... It's great for viewing known places, but it's, uh... No, no, It's no. not great for any search pattern. I want known place, I want the sky particularly above the known, that known place, and then I want to switch over slightly to the left. You're going to visualize the sky? Yes! You see blank sky. Yeah, I... This and is technically ruins. handled by a clairvoyant, so I don't... Like, from the ground, looking up. Using, like, uh... Ow. A you probably already missed it. Okay, so you're gonna have to roll for that one? E. After some concentration, you get a view of the sky, and you can just see the wall along the side. Pretty cloudless. Oh. Yeah, the dragon's probably gone now. Anyway, and by the way, Todd, just as a side note, if it is actually treated as the clairvoyance spell, which it really doesn't say clairvoyance spell, it just says it's treated as clairvoyance, uh, it does actually say that you can rotate the view in all directions. It's, uh, pretty awkward, yeah. But it, it does say as as if with clairvoyance, so... Well, shit. Oh well. Yeah. We were still probably too busy trying to get the exact command down. No. <laughs> it's not helped by one of you not speaking the language, or both of you not speaking the language. <laughs> and, uh, Gage. Mm hmm. Sir, <laughs> do you search through the, cor the coffins? No. Okay. I shall respect the dead, whoever is dead here. Just as a random FYI, uh, Todd, that this is the relevant spell. It's called both, so. Yeah. Well. Uh, anyway. the grabs After the... a moment of thinking about it, you wonder exactly why you were able to view. The traveling traders. Hold on. I mean, we're not that familiar with it. That's not a location. It's a vehicle. Uh, and it, the the mirror does mention something about being able to view people. Uh, Hasif focuses on you know, some city in the desert. Like, his home desert, not not the local one. Yeah, that cloud's over again. Okay, I figured that part. Anyways, I sit there and go, Anyway, this thing will significantly lower my teleportation. Focuses back on the castle and throws, like, <clears throat> a length of rope through. Just to make sure. That doesn't work. Okay. Well, you're always always for a fuckload, though. Oh, yeah. absolutely. 
I don't know. It is really useful, I'll admit. The mirror is creeping on people. Well then. You're a mirror so, on the wall. Um, as the mirror is showing effectively fogginess, you see a brief red lance in its vision. A lance? Yeah, like a red line darts through the fog. Okay. Alrighty then. Why do I think the foglands are an actual place that we don't want to go? Ever? I don't know, but if we are at a demi point, I just thought of something really, really stupid. <sighs> what? If you were in a demi plane, the mirror would work. Depends yeah, that was my comic book. Yeah, true. Unless it was designed to defeat divination. You know, there's a. There is a, this module called Ravenloft. It's from, like, second yeah. edition. Right. So. Anyway, it's a demi plane. But. And it explicitly like he... prevents this shit. The Siege doesn't know that, but. The Siege would probably know that such a thing is possible. Anyway, yes, Gage? If, if this was the Debbie plane we're on, are we technically considered an extra planer? No. That's unfortunate. No, we cannot be banished back to our home plane. Yeah, well, even if this idea. was a Debbie plane, you wouldn't be considered extra planer. But insofar as you've been here, you don't know that it is. My character is highly suspects it isn't, and Xander's character thinks it is. My character is absolutely convinced it is. Like, as a player, I know my character's wrong on that. But my character got a natural one. Yeah. I'm trying to, f I'm figuring that shit out. So he is absolutely convinced. This is a, this is all planar bullshit. <clears throat> anyway, I just. Once we finally figure out what's actually happening. It's going to take a ton of convincing for Hisish to accept it. Please excuse my minor remodeling. I thought of a better way to get things done. So, uh... You guys think we should just turn this place into our, uh, base of operations for a while? Maybe. Maybe once we investigate things more. Oh god. Hey Todd. Hey. Yeah. Actually, for that matter, does anybody know if Fey are considered extra planar creatures? They can not be. Not. Okay, could you do that without talking over each other? They can be. Yeah, they're not intrinsically. Hmm. There are absolutely Let's go banish the gnomes for being gnomes. Exactly. There are absolutely extra planar fey, just as there's extra planar basically everything else. <clears throat> oh, there's extra planar undead. I support extra planar butterflies. Only for it to get banished. So. I think you guys, unless you want to pick up those minor enchanted weapons there, have pretty much cleared out downstairs. I mean, are there any notable enchantments amongst them? They're all various forms of uh, necromantic ritual stuff. It's hard yeah. to say what those would do, but at the very least, they're masterwork plus one. Yeah, we can absolutely sell them, at least. I'm a little worried about selling these. Why? Because they're necromantic ritual stuff. We just go to a shop say, we found these in a spooky mansion out in the forest in the middle of the desert that shouldn't exist. That's fair, it still worries me a bit. With my absurdly good spellcraft, can I determine anything about their... All of their effects, even the shield, are designed to activate when it impacts someone's still-beating heart. 
That's... Yeah, I sit there for a while and I'm just like... Okay, this is... The effects activate when you... Dab someone in the heart, right? Including the shield! <laughs> How the fuck do you stab someone in the heart with the shield? <clears throat> it's more impact. It's spite, probably. So... It, it has to come in physical contact with part of their heart. You just... find yourself wondering... Who put this on the shield, and why? I mean, it probably has something to do with- where's that dagger you pulled out of their chest? Uh, probably somewhere on me still. Yeah. I is it also one of these? Yeah. It's a slightly different enchantment. They're all slightly different enchantments. It looks like someone was refining it. Uh. <laughs> Not no more. I said there's a- I, I worry what these will do to people they get stabbed. I mean... I might actually want to cleanse some of the, uh, the special enchantments off of these. Well, actually, uh, a large part of the enchantment is based around here. Like, in particular. And the ritual is. Yeah, and these are, are bound to the ritual. Uh, Sadly, examining these, there may be a number of other places in the world where they would work just as fine. I mean, yeah, that's there's other this places. This is merely but... one of them. It, they're not bound to here. Yeah. I don't... Are they I mean, bound to the? Would ritual? they do anything at all if used in an incorrect no. location? Uh, no. Sorry, what was that, Sean? I said, would they do anything if they're bound to an incorrect location? Probably. Some of them, certainly. And I still can't really figure out what. I'm like, okay, uh, one of the help. big problems with figuring out what is this is a ritual magic that in a large part of them would actually do nothing, your best guess is, or do something effectively wild. Ugh. Actually, hold on, oh, you magic. said you have a wild magic table for this place. Uh oh. Yeah, these are badly formed enchantments. Oh, the man, person but... who, doing, who was doing this was not the best. Uh, let's hope for another level 40 Magnificent Mansion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sit there and I go, okay. We should probably stash these for now. I'm not sure about yeah. something yet. Let's toss to them the room of the... I... Okay. I... I... I have to test something. Oh no. I set up the room of holding. I take the mirror and put it on the wall in the... I attempt to focus on the room outside of the room of holding right now. I'm sorry, what? So, I, I take the mirror, I take it inside the room of holding, I use the command word to see things, and, uh, and like, I focus on right outside the room of holding's door. That works fine. And I attempt to step through the mirror. You step outside of the room. I attempt to close the door close the door the portal back into the mirror immediately vanishes okay I open the door it reappears uh. I take the mirror out well I I guess I technically repass through the portal but, eh, whatever yeah. I take the mirror out of the room of holding put on the wall, with the doors open, attempt to focus on the inside of the room of holding. Okay, you're viewing the inside of the room of holding. I attempt to close the doors. You don't... Uh, okay, you, you close the doors. When you do, the image disappears. Not into fog, but actually back into being a regular mirror. I attempt to open the door without intentionally refocusing the mirror. You open the door. It's still a regular mirror. Okay, I react 
activate the mirror. Okay. Focus inside the room. Uh huh. Put the doors open. Uh huh. Walk through the mirror. Okay. Then, without going through the return portal, go outside the room of holding and close the door. Okay, the mirror returns to looking like a mirror and not like scrying. Okay. That's all the interactions I needed to know. You ha still haven't actually attempted to scry the inside of the room with the doors closed? That's true! I- I would- <laughs> just, just because you said that, I- The thing is, I also know time is frozen in there. I don't think about that! Okay. <laughs> As I see, uh, uh, as Sissy sees Elrith kind of just go, yep. What about, uh, oh, scrying me. into the room when the door is closed? Like, it's not going to do anything, but might as well be thorough, right? Eh, fine. Yeah, I'll check. I, I try once. Yeah. This doesn't even show you fog, it just fails. Oh, it immediately goes back to being a normal mirror. No, it, it doesn't even stop being a normal mirror. It just outright fails. I focus on inside this room and then focus on it just to see if that cancels it. And it actually leaves it where it was. Oh, okay. That's that's kind of curious. Anyway. Still, this doesn't surprise me since the moment the door closes, the inside of the room like temporarily ceases existing. Yeah. It, honestly, when you're trying to focus on the inside of the room with the doors closed, it's exactly like you're focusing on a location that doesn't exist. Yep. Huh. Which I'm sure you tried. Assuming I can envision it, my int is probably high enough, though. So, uh, I'm guessing you take the mirror. Oh, absolutely. Well, you've absolutely. already taken the mirror. Frankly, I kind of want to stash it just because of how large attention fragile it come off this thing in the room holding. Yeah. I figured as much. Are you going to take the spikes of flame? Are you going to examine the spikes of flame? I don't remember you saying that there were any. Th oh, you mean the brazier? Oh, yeah, they are spikes. Yeah, sure. Hell, if you wanted me yeah. to, I could even freaking take it to him. This is one of the saddest enchantments you've ever seen. Okay. Oh Someone attempted to enchant a magical torch, and all they managed to do is get a command word to make it activate for 1d20 rounds. Well, clearly it persisted with the help of the ritual. I'm surprised that they managed to jank this ritual into existence. <laughs> yeah, the more you look at it, the more jank this whole setup is. What the f- I mean, they could cast level 19 spells somehow. Let's see, just looking at the tome of, uh, Bad Choo Choo and going, <clears throat> What the fuck yeah, is Yeah, it's it? bad in more ways than one. <laughs> what the fuck is it with this place in really weird necromatic rituals? I just realized I, I had a typo in the... In the... Okay. Think in, in, pa, uh, in passing, uh... Which frickin' witch is hat? Anyway! Uh, I think it has a, does there appear to be any connotation between here and what research we have for what happened at the castle? Um, not particularly, except that the kind of magical background actually feels very similar. You mm. suspect this ritual would have worked at the castle. Huh? Okay. Same way it did here. Oh, oh that's least. what you mean, yeah. You, you mean it was a power locust. Yeah. Or possibly a ley line. Who knows? Or just a place where a ton of necromatic bullshit happened. Yeah. 
Uh, there are all possibilities. By the way, I'm amused that you still have not left the cellar or opened the two obvious cabinets. You're amazingly single focus right now. Where? Okay. Probably because it's just too dark in here. Where cabinets? Oh, back here. Ow. I open a cabinet. It's locked. Oh no! I call out my skeleton key. Hasish uh, uh, walks over as he, as he sees the skeleton key come out. Uh, uh, could we try to open it without breaking things first? No, fine. Do it the boring way. Thank you. <laughs> my brain just brought up uh, Morrowind lock picking noises. Yeah. <laughs> At 21. Yeah, no, no. You open it up only to find a false back. And no actual contents. Hey, look. It's the mechanics of that stabity trap. Or oh, no. Is there anything of uh, value in that stabity trap? You feel like looting giant metal tubes? And spikes? We have a room of holding. I mean, with a skeleton key, you could do it. We have a room of holding. Maybe someone will pay for sh this shit. Okay. Do we want to put in the effort? Uh, that's what I'm asking. I mean, we can. I, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys effectively take a 20 on that, because I don't think you're gonna manage to break your crowbar. So, uh... Uh, Hasish will actually know where everything goes, so now I guess I have the knowledge of how to make this trap. Yep. As it goes into the big tome of, big, of bad juju. I can just imagine the tone bad juju has the entire section you scribbled today, just annotated with various moments of like, what the fuck? Basically. I just have to open this cabinet. It's locked. Oh no. Money. Honestly, I'm giving you a bonus on that because you opened an identical lock just you know, hours yeah, ago. Yeah, uh, it's the other side of the thing. There's nothing of value in there. Honestly, given the fact that we disassembled it, we probably could just pass through to the other side anyway. Well, you don't really want to remove those two ceiling supports. They look important. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of want to check the trees outside at bare minimum real quick, because they were undead trees, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, before we end the session, I'm at least going to take a look at it. Nope. Actually, we should probably check some of the other crap down in the cellar, too. Might be worth something. Um, you, as you check some of the other crap in the cellar, what you find is distressingly expired rations and stuff. And ancient wine. Very ancient Yeah, the wine. ancient wine is great, but there's not much of it. I mean, we'll take it. I guess. Because the lady's definitely not going to be using no more. Alright, I will. Using it when we got here. I will poke my nose out this back door. <laughs> uh, back door? I, you can click me and go to me. There's a door here. Sorry. Nope, that is definitely oh. a back door. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, like, and I uh, just do a quick study of the uh, formerly undead plants. Are they still just undead? No, no, they're just dead. Well, I mean, as undead plants, they weren't exactly looking very planty before, so. Yep. Ah. Apparently, you did a number on this whole forest. Nice. 
That's Saving true. The, the forest just kind of existed in a perfect circle. Do, does anyone have a shovel? We should probably bury these people. Oh, oh you you just found the dinner party. Yep. The eternal dinner party. We never even got to ask them anything. Oh. We should at least bury them. Oh wait, unlike the other oh, I do one. Have a shovel. Unlike the other one, uh, uh, the, uh, that one undead became a normal undead. I'm surprised these guys didn't. Yeah. In some ways you wonder what was different, but it's too late to ask now. Alright. Uh, actually, no. is there room in the crypt downstairs for them? No. Okay. Unless you feel like making up some new coffins. I mean, I mean, is there floor space available for them? Yeah. Oh, in that case, yeah, just we could probably we'll just build some coffins. Alright, I mean, yeah, there's some fair lumber available, so, uh, I mean, that's a long-term project. Uh, Hasish is kind of considering, uh, making this place permanent base. And I don't entirely blame him. Like, I'm thinking okay. about his statement. I said there, oh, right, also, uh, this will inevitably be next time, but we need to clean out the spiders. And yeah. Kyle. Actually, and Kyle, behind, speaking of which. And whatever was behind that other door in the cellar that we got told to not open. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I open these doors, please? Unfortunately, you now out of character know what's in there. Yeah. Oh, we knew from the very beginning. I didn't. I did. Huh. I knew out of character because I saw clear into the room and went, oh, that's tasty. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't see into it, so... Uh, is there gaps in Kyle's door? No. I knock on Kyle's door. Do I hear noises from inside? You hear the creak of floorboards. Oh, boy. Yep, Kyle's still in here. We will handle you another time. I'm... There's a loud thump on the door, and some dust flies off of it. Yeah, we should deal yeah, with this fuck time. you. Too. Anyway, honestly, we should probably end the session about here. Yeah. Alrighty. Hitting stop recording, and.